dun 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 dun. Wait, my dad. Oh yeah, no, I didn't say anything, but we are alive. <laughs> High voltage. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that Jack White was on that song. Oh, it was. Yeah, he's the response for like the. Do you want to know how we keep starting fires? Oh. Huh. Man, yeah. that's, a, that's a TIL. Hey, yeah. what's going on, <laughs> you wonderful, wonderful psychopaths, you glorious miscreants, you Linux loving greetings. We're getting ready for another Linux Gamecast weekly. This is the pre show. You, you missed the pre pre super shows in where we talked about web servers. Yeah. Uh, and SSDs. PNG files. In electric numbers. Mm -hmm. Unavailable fatty doves. Yep. Mm -hmm. this, was, this was a very hot topic. Um, words were had. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 could say it was danger danger. You know what? At three o'clock in the morning, when that's still going through your brain mates, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the gates of hell. Where are my taps? Man. And where are my kids? That's yeah, like the whole thing, dude. I, I'm a hundred percent a sucker for a good music video. Are you anything like that? If you like, if you, I don't even, I don't even have to really particularly like the song. You give me a good music video, I'm like, we're cool. I think I think the the art of the music video has kind of been lost. Mm. Yeah, but some people still do it though. <laughs> so, some some people still do it, and some people are like still able to capture the magic. Mm -hmm. Like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Tell a story with your damn video. Right. <laughs> Pre uh, Prehistoric Dog by Red Dog is a pretty solid music video because it's like a bunch of metalheads like crash this LARP and beat them up. <laughs> and then like, they pull out real weapons and one of them is like a straight up wizard who starts shooting fireballs at them. <laughs> right on. <laughs> they start getting murdered. I'm down with that. Like, and uh, an example of like, Offspring, their music sucks. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. But the kids aren't all right is one of those videos that you go, a lot of thought went into that. Mm -hmm. Good job. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Cause like, I get, I get, I get really into songs. So like if it if it's a well put together song if like the melody and like the rhythm hits right then like I'll I'll, I'll groove out to it I don't know like I I spent a, a good lot of time music watching video will cause me to like a song to an to an extent yeah it it it, it what it, what it can definitely do is it can transform your perception of a song because like a lot of the times like so like for a lot of love songs they just have like the singer like making grindy swoony motions over at like some <laughs> model that they hired for like five minutes that there's like just crawl around the floor and look sexy so that yes, we can cut yes. you in but but that's enough about dave mustaine <laughs> <laughs> no 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 the, the dave mustaine one is like in sweating bullets when like they they do like they make duplicate dave mustaines and he's like curled up on the floor and all the other dave mustaines are kicking him i was going to say david lee roth and be like no no that would probably actually track um yeah like mm. like white white snake van halen all, all those 80s guys hair metal this is yeah you, yeah you could probably find an example of that well i i was thinking more of like enrique iglesias and like night like the like justin timberlake and shit like that those, okay. those music videos are all like them grinding and like hot ladies just making swooning stuff but like vi videos that like make you go wait this shouldn't go with the song but it totally <laughs> goes with the song and na now now i see the song in a completely different perspective than when i just first heard it originally i think that's one thing i've always like uh, I, I like from, from the get-go with typo negative i was like shit you guys like legitimately make put some time and effort even though they were not high budget at all. It's like you tried, though. No, no, those were well put together videos for a very low budget. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I, I, everyone. I, I... We promised to do a show. We're not going to be doing a uh, show until <laughs> eight forty-six, probably, because uh, Daddy's got to buy a thing at a particular time. <laughs> be, be, because of the Sabbath, apparently. Yes. <laughs> Another twelve minutes of this. Twelve then. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we'd start off with something fun, <laughs> music videos. And... Well, I, so like, look, look, look at something like Thriller, where it's like mm. actually kind of structured as a short well, film. Okay, you can. They did do that, but you can pretty much through almost the entirety of the '80s because they had million-dollar budgets. Look at uh, Culture Club, like, Karma Chameleon. Well, yeah, man, where they're just like, okay, that that probably at least cost six hundred grand minimum, like an '80s bucks. Well. I'm I'm also thinking of like Dire Straits Money for Nothing where they got Rainmaker Studios. Yeah. And like that got Rainmaker the exposure they needed to make reboot. Hmm. 
dude. And there was that was a oh, can you imagine how long that took to like render that out? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hardware ray tracing. John, you need to get a job. <laughs> The stories. That's what they did in the eighties, though. That was, or, or, or yeah, or something like "Take on Me." That's a pretty good video. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's always yeah. A good no, uh, gonna do a music video. Tell a story. It may not even be completely related to the song that's playing behind it, but. Tell a story. <laughs> just just well, entertain me, though. I mean, because yeah. this all started because we watched uh, Electric Six. Yeah, we were we were trying to figure out if that lyric was actually fire in the Taco Bell. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got to rhyme with the gates of hell, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. I mean, there's always fire at the Taco Bell. I mean, unless, it, unless, it, unless it's it, two it, o'clock in the morning, and you don't have a car. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was, I was going to say a different kind of fire. Mm. So. Fire in the toilet, yes. <laughs> From their mild sauce. See, th there's a, there you go. Scott, I've, I, that is one of my, like, dial in on a fresh audio chain. Music videos this is my go-to. Yeah. Well, so, so I, 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 I think, I think you can go with two routes with the music video. You can just, you can, like, actually tell a story, or you can just be fucking funny, right? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the like because because Gangnam Style does not have a story. The song is actually about like something. Oh, it's, it's about like people. It's about the culture and yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's, yeah it's, it's about Gangnam. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, 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 it's, it's about people who spend a lot of money to look rich and who are actually flat broke. Right. Um, <laughs> but like the music video is like Sai like yelling at some lady's ass, right? It's drugs. Like, yes. I'm like, well done. Yeah. I've, some some someone at my work is like, actually, that's a famous model named Huna. I'm like, great. Is is, is she the one who's getting her ass yelled at? Cool. Right. Okay. <laughs> cool story. The one at the uh, end of the story. Oh man. Uh, have you heard her version of that song? No. No. Oh. Oh, it's bad. It's oh man, really bad. <laughs> spe spe speaking of uh, of um, tool videos, um, what was that? What's that fucking song? Uh, First music video you saw that used them went okay. This is cool. yes, uh, sk schism right with like schism. the rotting meat and the screws and like oh yeah yeah, but I like, mean, think uh, every Nine Inch Nail video or Manson video. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, the um. The beautiful people one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, look, things in black hole sun." You're like, "Oh yeah." The first I'm down with this. video that I remember watching, like, remember walking in and it be playing on MTV, uh, was a uh, "Losing My Religion." Are you? I thought that I heard yep. you laughing. <laughs> I thought that I heard you say. That was like the first one that I remember seeing. Okay, we, okay, if we're, we're getting like weird, like REM, like stand that video. They mm -hmm. put some time into that, and on that vein, since we're talking about Athens bands for no reason, uh, Love Shack, the B fifty twos. That was like that yes. was a production. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, I mean, speaking of like shiny happy people, right? That's the chick from the B fifty twos. Yeah, they did a lot of crossover stuff in the nineties. Nineties were weird, man. Well, yeah. So I, I, you know, I think I think independent music has kind of kind of had a bit of a renaissance, in spite of YouTube trying to just murder them. Because mm. like there are, like there are a lot of super talented musicians on YouTube who are just like putting out consistent content. Um, whether whether it's just like actual songs or like, hey, here's how you like mix a track, or here's how like. Here, here's a lesson on how to do this vocal technique. Mm -hmm. That's how I learned how to do Mongolian throat singing, and I can only do that sometimes now. Well, one of the biggest <laughs> issues is uh, a guy was... I just ran into this recently when I was trying to play anything other than just random bullshit noodling on a guitar, and even then, I was getting hits. Like, this, this is crap. And this one dude just showed a... He was showing off, like, Behringer's uh, new synth. And he mm -hmm. just did a sweep. Just a yeah, and yeah. it got flagged hard. Mm. 
And he's like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and, you know, people trying to do instructional videos and stuff like that. Uh, it's YouTube. What do you know about making instructional videos, Ven? Not a damn thing, apparently. Hmm. Because the goal is to watch one of my videos and ask me something completely fucking unrelated and get pissy that I'd ever respond, even though it's a six-year-old video. But, All right, so but, yeah, but, on, but, but on, here's just hard mode. You got to unironically use bruh in it. Bruh. So yeah, I I, I, I got Skyrim installed, <laughs> installed. But how does this like make my grilled cheese? I said six, not nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skyrim. That that video predates. I don't know if it predates L G C. It mine. No, uh, no, because like we we were. I don't know if it predates it, but I do know. I remember when you put that out because you're like, hey man, I put out a video. Mm. Because, like, LGC was around a couple of years before we started doing this show. Because I know the domain name was registered over a decade hmm. ago. Right, right. And then, then there were, um... I don't, I don't even remember, man. <laughs> Drugs. Drugs. The show started, uh, like, mid-2012. This show? I joined in January 2013. I remember the first time I met you, we were doing we were doing that Wolfenstein multiplayer. Yep. I thought that about revisiting like second... that the other day, and I was like, I wonder how much of a pain in the ass is to get that up and running, because we can get a lot of people in that. <laughs> I mean, probably yeah. not a lot. Like, <laughs> And apparently, I... uh, there's just a couple of flags that you need to pass to the server to get the uh, damage to sync up properly, and enemies are in complete bullet sponges. <laughs> Because I knew we were doing good until we ran into those um, Gestapo ladies, and they just oh, oh yeah, yeah the the, Elsa, the Elsa she bitch of the SS ladies. Like, yeah, they right. were. Well, yeah, the other thing too was they were they were moving around a lot. They're not the easiest thing in the world to hit. <laughs> they, they they do like the Trinity backflips and shit, the starfish or whatever. Like okay, there's there's a big area of effect, but most of it is just air. So what do I? <laughs> yep. You gotta, you gotta cut them in half with the bullets. That's the strategy. 8.45. All right. Two more minutes. I, I, I'm getting this, man. I don't want to miss out on this. And I don't want to miss a thing. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking come of on, that was nowhere near. <laughs> speaking of content ID, I'm nowhere near high enough to pull up like, a proper recognizable Steven Tyler. Some of the files in the GX will date back to also, also, oh, yeah. also, my hot daughter isn't here for me to creep on. What is, um, what is, uh, it, we're definitely, it's 10 years, because when I started doing this, it was like, hey man, I needed people, no one knew how to, like, capture games properly. And people were making YouTube videos, like, check out Linux Gaming, running at, like, four frames a fucking second, and, like, all jacked up low bit rate, and it's like, that's not a good way to advertise. You know, let's see what I can do about that. What's this thing called, FFM bag? How does this work? I'll be back. Hold my beer. And that's how that started. I started watching because I can't remember who it was in Google Plus that shared a bunch of Linux people and Ven was a part of that. So I just was followed everyone in that circle. Was it? Well, and that was the thing. You could just like follow circles. Yeah. And Man, so I'm... it's like, oh, I get this. Thing and it's two guys talking about Linux gaming. All right, I'll sit and watch. Yeah, all right. Ma Ma <laughs> oh, they have a forum. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that, like, that was like the whole thing, dude. I mean, like especially back in those days, <laughs> you didn't have a lot of options. Like, hey, they're talking about Linux. All right, we'll watch it. Um, yeah. Well, I, like, like straight, straight up, LGC would not exist if it wasn't for Google Plus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> not in this version. Probably no, good. Not... We'd be doing separate things and. Ruling our own individual kingdom somewhere. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> thank you, Google Plus. Man, I miss Google Plus. That was like... I actually had shit that I cared about on my feed. Yes, which was nice. It, it was a really nice social... thing. <laughs> on the yeah. internet. <laughs> it was too beautiful yeah. for this world. Plus, Google fucked it up. Because you got a thing like Google rolled out and they're like, you got to use your real names no matter what. And I'm like, that's not a smart thing to do on the internet, but okay, fine. <laughs> and uh, just dumb stuff. Man. Well, just, they tried oh, to oh, shoehorn it into YouTube. 
Well, well okay, it's like, the, no, right, YouTube right. and Google so, Plus, now they're the, both the, the same. It's like, this so, is why so, I, I legitimately <laughs> have seven YouTube accounts because of Google Plus and my Google. I have seven. <laughs> I made two. <laughs> Yeah, they, well, the the other thing too is they tried they tried to like control the rollout for G plus like they did Gmail, and I worked for mm -hmm. Gmail because like people were kind of fed up with Hotmail mm -hmm. and like user and uh, like uh, provider provided email, um, but then they're like, oh, and yeah, they Google offer plus two gigs only. of space in their free tier. It's like, oh yes, please. <laughs> but yeah, with with with, with Google plus like part part of the problem was like. The people who wanted to use it couldn't initially unless they knew someone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like for a social network, you want to get that open up. That's why that's why Facebook dropped the .edu requirement, right? Like you didn't need a school email anymore. They just opened it up to everyone, right? For for better or for worse, for worse. Okay, what's going on? Well, it's time for you to buy your thing. I'm working on it. It's not letting me right now. It's because you're not circumcised, Ven. Here, let me grab my scissors. <laughs> An unexpected error, impromptu briss. <laughs> Barakatada Nile, hey no mellow snip. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna log out and Control Shift R. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not. I'm not. One, I'm not one of those old school rabbis who insists on using their mouth. Does it even hold out? <laughs> in New York. They don't care. Ironically, this place is in New York, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, log in. I can't make that joke. <laughs> you can't, but I can. Uh, error has occurred. You gotta be shit. Task failed successfully. Pretty much, man. <laughs> This is some great A bullshit. Um, do you guys feel free to? I, I got to work on this, so I'll be back. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I, li I literally have nothing to talk about. <laughs> My Facebook account is now gone. I don't remember the password to my Facebook account, so it will remember. It will forever be. Uh... Hello, Pennywise. Oh yeah, the 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 Shabbos is over, so he can join us now. Very good. <laughs> oh, is that why? Okay. <laughs> the su the sun the, the 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 moon has come up. It's 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 the end of that weird lunar day cycle thing that y'all use. <laughs> Uh, and now, I don't know. <laughs> Foxy, sounds like it's time to start drinking then. <laughs> The only time, time I remember drinking in the morning is because I hadn't slept all through the night, so I was basically just keeping the buzz going. <laughs> what time did you start drinking, Pedro? Uh, it was past midnight here, so... So, <laughs> extremely early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's very early in the morning, Pedro. <laughs> The resource wars are upon us. What are you talking about? I went to Tesco's the other day. There was even toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think after the initial shock, the delivery delivery infrastructure caught up. It was a solid two weeks with no toilet paper. <laughs> so how poopy is your bum? It's even less poopier. Because I was using baby wipes. Because, oh, there's no toilet paper? Okay, let me just go a couple of aisles down. Oh, look, all of the baby wipes. 
Are, are, are you flushing the baby wipes, Pedro? No. I don't even flush regular toilet paper because this toilet here is poop. I think Ven got it. <laughs> and besides flushing poop, it doesn't really do much of anything else. It doesn't seem to like even the regular toilet paper, so... <laughs> We have a bin. You're... <laughs> a smelly, smelly bin. <sighs> okay, well, you know, at least I've uh, I've moved far enough to where they can send me an email and be like, ah, oh, your order was messed up or something. You still get it even after all that work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. No, that is what I think. and that, That's the correct, correct way to think. I'm like, oh, no, I won't get that at that price. No. Then it'll show up one day. Broken. On fire. At the Taco Bell. Yeah, no, uh, U U UPS has implemented a trebuchet strategy when it comes to package delivery now. <laughs> yeah, you, you wake up Monday morning, you just hear glass shattering. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? Just plowed through the courtyard and, like, smashed up into the stairs. And the guy walks up. He's like, oh, here it is. And lightning strikes that. And like, yeah, yeah, that's how that rolls. Got it. Oh, we're having connectivity issues now? What? What are you talking about? Oh... Uh, I lost my return video. Alright. Your video still looks fine here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Whatever. I guess I'll have to be Sans return video. I can deal. Yeah, I'm sending you video. Yeah, no, it, it's saying I got connectivity issues. Or something. Well, something uh, happened, I guess, it must have been uh, Ven's internet connection, because the video did kick into low definition for me. <laughs> well, okay, hold on, let me, let me, let me exit and rejoin. To never be seen from, or heard from again. You know what would be smart? You know what be really smart that I should do? <laughs> Close that window and rejoin too. <laughs> yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> There's four people in that call now. <laughs> Science, baby. <laughs> Those timeouts. <laughs> mm. So I think I won the bet, though. <laughs> I mean, close enough. I mean, we hadn't officially started the show. But I don't think Fate was paying attention, because he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fate's a he, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, I know what the problem is. Oh, keep us in suspense, baby. <laughs> For now. Uh, could you please type in, type back to Jordan, just regular Jitsi, because... <laughs> <laughs> Regular Jitsi. We can science our way through it. This isn't it. I'm not tempting fate. Fate, do me a solid, man. All right. You've already given me like a closest thing I get to a panic attack trying to order that thing. Oh, hang on. I still have a bit going on that uh, Mbox Mini 2 USB. Nice. What's it up to? It's it's up to si uh it's up to 18 pounds now. That yeah, that, I wouldn't go much higher than that, but Considering there will always be another one for cheaper. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 I know I know what the problem is with the video not bridging the, when you reload the page. Mm -hmm. It's because there's a thing you need to set to enable like multi-person video call. And in my brain, I figured, oh, I don't need to turn this on because only two people ever will be in this room. Unless something goes but, wrong. So, right, unless exactly. something, yeah. the timeouts. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So the, that, 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 that's, a, that's an easy enough fix. I just didn't want to know if you wanted to fuck around with that right now or just you. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll fix, I'll fix it later. It's fine. That's cool. Hey, it's like, it's literally just a variable. I got to set. That's it. Okay. Hey, b and give me a receipt. Nice. And free two-day shipping. Ooh, yeah, there's a new version of Proton. GE, by the way, everyone. Okay. Glorious egg roll. Yeah, the... Josh Josh was really a fan of, like, hey, new Dix Fix version, like, five minutes after we go live. Oh, they do it intentionally <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I mean, if you... if I can, I can set up the crotch cam. I got this guy right here, which I can direct at many things. What? Oh. All right. I'm glad that wasn't spontaneous. Um, yeah, but this this was this was for uh, for Jitsi testing yesterday. Crotch cam. All right. Well, I I, I had another camera because like you know how Jitsi sometimes doesn't like the same camera grabbing or doesn't like having two rooms grab the same camera. Oh, you were doing the internal testing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> They're like, hey, it works in here. Then you're yep. like, damn it, I need someone. Someone call me. Well, so yeah, well, I I mean I tested from the work VPN, which is going through the work IP, mm. and that and that worked. But I figured like it's also still like there's a weird traffic pattern here. I fig I figured the Australia test was solid because if it like that's a fair test. If it functions over a wet string to Oceania, it's probably gonna hold up. Oh wow, this is a very nice uh, Proton G release actually. Mm. Are, are we throwing it in the show? Do we need to? Uh, he starts out by saying, I'd like to preface that this is a pre-release that has massive amounts of media foundation slash MF plat, uh, wine patches, like, ooh. So I need a yes or a no. <laughs> Do you wanna? I can put it in. It's very impolite <laughs> to answer a question with a question, young man. I mean, our Steam segment's <laughs> a little short compared to the news segment, so I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's a Proton okay. GE 5.5. There. Somewhere, <laughs> a glorious egg roll is upset. It's like, damn it. Damn it, I thought those assholes wouldn't talk about my shit. Right. <laughs> Thank you, B&H, for delaying the show. <laughs> Um, so I need to, oh, Ninja Scooch, there we go, ah, right after, okay, we need to move, um, that's at the end of, what then? It's, so, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. right after Gary's mod, yep. It's right after the Twitter yeah. tab, got it. And, of course, by the time this goes out, this release will be cancelled and retracted because of a Game yeah, the, the, yeah, the ma <laughs> massive regressions, it will literally give you cancer. Exactly. Mm. All right, let's get on with the show. Let's go and I don't have those buttons yet, so I need to get over here. Whoa, okay. Oh, that was me being dumb. Right, never mind. That back to start. Let's clear all locations. One, two, three, four is locked and loaded. Back to editor. Arm records. Arm plays. Start recording. All right. I'm going to get this completely locked down. Pedro, give me a give me some clap, baby. Okay, I'll use that to set your delay. You do the same thing. I want to take a look at. All right, you you, you got to bend over and show me show me them cheeks though. Okay, I want you to do it. I, you, the tips of your Without finger. The microphone were, in the way. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, he almost covered his entire hands. I was impressed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, we have clip and we have clap. 
All right. STDs, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> At least we don't have clip flop. Oh, boy. The clip flop. Better watch out for that. <laughs> this is nasty. Three, two, one. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Um, this week, man, we got a lot of news this week, lads. Lots of news. And even some um, like Clap. nudes. Yeah. Last minute. Clappy nudes? Steam news. Yes. <laughs> it's it, 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 clappy nude like the new version of like Tappy Bird. <sighs> <laughs> I'm Ben Stone. <laughs> that that is uh the god of hammers himself, one Jordan Swing and uh, I am Bor. Bor. <laughs> Pedro Matias <laughs> and three eyed Britannia. It is brilliant. Together with you at home in Shadrom Dynamic, help me form a little thing. A little wholesome, lovable thing we like to call Cocaine Voltron. Now, before we get started, we like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Gentlemen, um, I will celebrate my small victory. Um, Shabbat. Shabbat is over. <laughs> Apparently. Hur <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> did, did, did you go to your minion yet? Did you get them infected? I, I, I don't even know, man. What's going on there? I, I just, I, hey, B&H, very observant with the holiday stuff. Right on. More power to you. One thing this week, I'm going to say the hardest thing for me this week this is what's going on is not buying the metro game on steam on sale for 20 bucks well yeah now now we're hitting that time of the year where like all those exclusivity deals for the epic store yeah. are are expiring mm -hmm. and so they're they're starting to trickle their way over the steam and you know we we were we were mad at the time but i think like at least now we sort of have like the hindsight of like, these are the good games. These are the bad games. Here's what sucked on launch. Here's what got fixed later. Right. So right. There, there's, a, yep. there's at least a bit of that feral syndrome happening where like, yeah, we get, we get all, we get all the DLC. We get all the fixes now that that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's oh, uh, all the epic exclusivity means apparently is, uh, you get to, um, beta test before the game actually comes out. Get the bugs Steam. worked out. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to play the um, Metro X. Then Deep Silver being such a tease a couple of months back. They're like, uh, hey, any news on the uh, Linux thing? You're like, spoilers. God damn it. The, the, the spoiler Very is much not looking happening. forward to that. Yeah. See, the, the, that, that's the, the whole the thing. The spoiler if, is Proton. What, yeah. <laughs> if that is the spoiler, I'm like, you're going to get my money one way or the other. You just already have it right now, like guilt free. If I, which. Whatever, Pedro, what's new with you, baby? Um, I managed to find toilet paper this week. That 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 was uh <laughs> were, were times getting desperate. Not really. I mean, I had gotten to the point where I was uh, okay with the baby wipes. It didn't feel weird anymore. It's like, okay, this is just going to be my life from That's now because on. Because you were rubbing them on your nipples, man. It was strangely erotic. Now you can't go back to and toilet non chafing. Paper. That that was it's, the important it, bit. It didn't it's, chafe. It, it's, it's all it's all it's all scratchy and rough now. I can't Ooh. do it anymore. <laughs> my, my 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 sensitive little bottom is 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 on fire because of the super coarse toilet paper. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, apparently, I was visual. Uh, I was visibly stunned when I was walking past the aisle because I stopped. And I was looking at the aisle, and uh, one of the Tesco people went by me and went like, I know, right? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> My sensitive little bottom. Oh, no. Oh, dude, uh, Jordan, have you been up to anything new? I mean, I, I set up that video bridge, still fucking around with it. Right. Um, it, 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 it held up for the entirety of the pre pre super shows, and, but... There's there's a config op option identified, and then we gotta fuck around with the figure out how to fuck around with the audio video settings because you want like higher quality. So yeah, that, that, that 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 that's that's gonna require a little bit of investigation on my part. But think about it, man. We'll finally be able to get the horse in HD. Dude, okay. The, the, yes. I, feel, I I genuinely feel the horse is like pornography. Like the higher resolutions don't really do it any favors because you see all the cesarean scars <laughs> and, and 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 like the plastic surgery. It's the steam litter update of the week. Don't don't worry, horse. You have a beautiful personality. That's right. Um, managing steam bandwidth. So you know if you are impacted by the. 
uh, what are the game grumps calling it? The Backstreet Boys reunion tour that's out now. <laughs> um, <laughs> That we can't talk about on YouTube. Uh, you might be cooped up inside because of Backstreet being back. All right. Uh, so you may you may have a shared internet connection that may be impacted by everyone downloading games and watching Netflix oh, and other and other stuff at the same time. So Steam has implemented some finer grain bandwidth controls. Um, you can control the uh, auto update window. You can throttle your own connection to Steam now. Um, you can. Um, you can tier games so that like stuff that you don't really care about will only get updated when the network is clear and stuff you're regularly playing gets updated uh more frequently uh ven you're saying um you're saying that uh get only games within played within the last three days will get updated immediately that that's what they're threatening with man they're like yo um you get to play it recently we're not gonna waste a bandwidth on you which i'm you know if this keeps up because i don't know about you two is something that i've always had to deal with in memory is waiting for steam to ratchet up the uh, bandwidth when i'm downloading a game if it's a large game i know for the first five possibly 10 maybe even 15 minutes i'm not even going to get nowhere near my tab it's gonna be like 30 33 megabits and i know go go cry right then oh <laughs> only but um uh, i'm gonna say definitely for the last week it's boom i've been hitting you know at least like 55 which that makes a big difference over, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> having to wait more than 10 minutes for a game. Yeah. Ah. With, 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 with 1.5 down, it's just like, I'm still, in my brain, I'm still used to a slow internet speed. So, like, okay, I'm going to download this game. I'm going to get up and go do something. Should come back, check in on it. Oh, it's been done for, like, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> been done, <man. laughs> Yeah, no, I'm very much a part of the problem because they're doing this to avoid the um, internet getting congested with game downloads, unnecessary game downloads, because you haven't played that game that you have installed for months. So you don't need that update right now. And if you launch the game, it still downloads it. But I'm one of those people that's like, oh yeah, that update has been queued for a month from now. Uh, I'm just going to hit update now. There. See, I, I I have a problem for the for the chair position uh, this week. I'm like, man, I gotta clear out some space. I just keep all the games installed locally. I don't even bother with it. I, even with my little half gig connection, I'm just like, I just I, I, I grew up in a different time, man. It's like <laughs> the, the the idea of being able to download, you know, Shadow of Hodor, you know, hundred gigs of that, and like, can't do that in thirty minutes. It's just, boggles boggles my old decrepit brain meat so I'm like yeah i'm good i'll just download that again when i'm done with it because i how big is your steam drive mine's 250 gig ssd and that's all one terabyte i have a dedicated one terabyte ssd uh hold on a second it's t all right i got i have five drives uh i got two 500 gigs i got one 256 Apparently, or I got two. Uh, two he has no gigs. ideas what he's trying to communicate to us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, yes. I, I have a lot. I have a lot, and it's all full because I don't delete games because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so we got a new version of the Steam client beta, and maybe I think maybe just maybe possibly. I know something Jordan and I've run into is when we want to launch Steam after double uh, after an update, um, the beta client you got to double tap, sometimes triple tap. And tippy tap, food will open. Oh, so they fi they fixed that now. That's what that is. Maybe question. Possibly. Maybe, yeah. So uh, the update was released on April second, and the Linux thing is fix debus assertion and possible crash at startup. Honestly, I hadn't experienced a crash, but apparently both uh, Ben and Jordan had. Uh, the one thing that I also noticed is the big picture mode fixes, which is fix several localization issues. I had noticed a localization issue, which I reported to, um, Valve, which was the, uh, on-screen keyboard that you control with the Steam How controller. How dare you, Valve um, is infallible. If you have, uh, Steam set to Portuguese, the Portuguese layout keyboard doesn't have a goddamn underscore. Hmm. Seems like a pretty significant oversight. Underscore oversight? I, yeah, never mind. I, I mean, who really <laughs> needs an underscore, man? Come on, let's be honest. They 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 did they did include a fix for people who don't practice social isolating good. Uh, if you got four more <laughs> Xbox controllers plugged into your Steam box, now it will, now they'll all work, which is nice. You know, unfortunately, the latest news is they've rolled that back. 
Really? They did. Yep. I know. The, yeah, the, the latest update rolled that back because apparently people weren't able to connect uh, Xbox controllers to I Steam just, anymore. I, I, the the, the mm. scenario that rolled out my mind was like, I was like, oh, great. Hey, the couple, I invite your friends. They're like, hey, we're not all um, full of the COVID. So come over, man. All Everybody bring their controllers. We'll, we'll do, do They're like, oh, shh. <laughs> you know? I, I, I mean, sometimes you really want to play screen sheet, right? Right. Hmm. So we got some interesting news on the topic of toasters. Yes. So um, there's a brand new collaboration happening between Valve, Microsoft, and Hewlett Packard. Uh, they're mm. working on a next Ooh. gen VR headset. Um, it seems to be based on the HP Reverb. Um, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be cheaper. Apparently, they're they're not quite aiming to beat Oculus in terms of price, but they're they're saying like, well, we're we're going to be a hundred bucks more than Oculus, but we're going to give you a couple more features that they have. It's going to be a nicer oh, headset, it's the cetera, Windows so. mixed reality thing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Well, so here here's the thing. A lot of a lot of us here, our instinctual reactions are like, ew, Microsoft. But here's the thing. When was the last time you bought a Microsoft keyboard and mouse? Plugged it into your Linux computer and it didn't work. Microsoft's been okay with the with the peripheral support at least. Um, and yeah, if nobody Valve is in the right mind would buy a Microsoft keyboard, all right? It, no, that'd be no, silly. One. That'd be ridiculous. I couldn't imagine no, doing it. No, not at all. No. Uh, but yeah. Um, so re regardless, Steam VR is going to be covering the actual Linux support. So it'll it, the headsets will work with Linux. That's not going to be that's not going to be a question. And I think I don't think Microsoft gaming division at least is going to be like oh you can't use this on a linux machine we don't want those two linux users with vr headsets buying another <laughs> VR headset. we've heard rumors of them dude here's what i'm going to say here it's it only legend Shh. Um, uh, arise big one arise uh one of the things i'm thinking about man with vr i know i've said this ad nauseum is it's going to be wireless it's going to be light and it's got to do room scaling without lighthouses and the other nonsense. And it's also going to be like, okay, here's a, here's a legitimate question. Does it got to give you a hand job too? No, no, no one's going to take your job, baby. You're <laughs> safe. <laughs> Good. All right. Um, I'll get the sandpaper. Where's your fine? I'll buy it. I'm thinking, because like right now, the Index of Ivan Alex, I'm like, you know what? There's Twitch. I'll play it uh, through the perspective of the guy that's talking to Alex on the walkie-talkie. <laughs> because it's really, you know, it's kind of like how you're mm -hmm. doing it. Um, and way I drop a grand. And I think we're probably looking at, like, for me, console price, like 400. And that's pushing it. Like, three, three fifty. you give me three fifty, then I'd be like, eh, all right. <laughs> Well, so so like and I'm, I've, cheap. I've, I, I'm cheap, yeah. frugal. I've I've dicked around with VR a little bit. Uh, I've dicked around with VR under Linux uh, a little bit too. And here's the thing: I really want to play Gorn. Gorn is a really fun game. I enjoy it. There would be that and Alex. But if I'm gonna if I if I am gonna be spending like four five hundred dollars on a VR solution, I would like to, there to be like some more higher fidelity stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, available More stuff that's... too that you'd want to play because, like, you you would have Gorn and possibly Alex, and Alex is not going to have three uh, super hot, maybe Beach Saber uh, or something like that. Yeah, a, a, yeah. Appar apparently Tetris VR will fuck you up in VR mode. <laughs> See, I w I only want to play Beat Saber if I can get somebody to come over and like throw rocks at me. <laughs> just, just, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 it's dude, dude. That that's a brilliant marketing thing. If you want to make a Star Wars VR game, you make a VR helmet that looks like the fucking helmet that Luke Skywalker put on his head. Through rocks. He's like, it. yeah, the, yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Come on, that 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 would get some Star Wars nerds on board with the with the VR train. One hundred percent. All right, I can see it. Or or, or like make Honestly. it look like the, the X wing helmet. Mm. Hey. Yeah, for me and VR. It, I need to be able to use it, and I'm not going to spend a stupid amount of money on something that won't let me play with it because I'm sure, I'm sure none of the be VR attachment, none of the can... VR solutions up to this point, except maybe like that 3D printed sleeve thing that Valve had for the index uh, knuckle. Yeah, no. When it comes to my right hand, fuck that. <laughs> hook, hook, hook. <laughs> Huck, um, huck. Dude, so maybe we'll get to play this in VR. This comes from our best, best buddy, Gary Newman, to his credit, oh. who did send us copies. What was it, Rust? 
Rust, yes. He sent us copies of Rust way back in the day. He posts this on his Twitter, and it's this clapped out meme. Uh, it's him, everything, as the girlfriend, and the other lady walking in the opposite direction is making Gmod 2, to which I will say, oh, yeah, let's see, what, what do we have? Tuxed, don't forget to yell at others because of your incompetence. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I was gonna say like we're we're, we're getting we're getting yeah, we're, we're totally. Uh, yeah, be sure to use JavaScript as a scripting language this time, just to piss off more people. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how most of the replies are people giving Gary shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, listen, my, my, if my, you hold my, on to that edge lord. Gary's rolling into coming up to his forties and he's still got the sharp edge lootiness to him to him. And I'm like, you know what? At this point, I still kind of respect it. Cause I'm like, I'm like, all right, that's it. No, he's we're, made we're, we're, his internet persona to be a shit Lord. Yeah. Everyone but we're, needs we're, 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 we're totally getting that Linux version though. Right. Mm -hmm. Right guys. Well, right? We are, right? Right? We'll just, we'll just right? run it in Proton. Right. right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that doesn't have start much blaming. of a say anymore. I mean, let's be he's honest. He's going to start face, blaming Proton for all his problems, too. Face, man. Punch, face Punch has definitely proven on multiple occasions that Linux is a little outside of their wheelhouse in scope and ability. It's true. Yeah. E e even when yeah. they're using Unity, you know, that, that engine where you can <laughs> easily export things to Linux. We could ah. keep going down that rabbit hole, but we're not, because we have to talk about the latest and greatest version of Proton GE that Pedro's in love with so much that we put it in the show notes at the last minute. Actually, it was a, it's love very with. significant. Literally because... in love with. And pa it's Pedro, you got to adjust your usual. glasses when Keep going, Pedro. There. Um, <laughs> it's the usual, it's not the usual release of Proton GE. This one comes with a big fat disclaimer right at the top. Okay. I'd like to preface that this is a pre-release that has massive amount of Media Foundation slash MF Plat wine patches. A huge thanks goes to Derek Lesho uh, for getting this stuff working and taking the time to helping Gloria Segrol get it working with the correct dependencies in Proton. And the, the fixes that they themselves tested were Borderlands 3, uh, the Lilith in-head videos, and the Watch Me Monitor video bugs are fixed. Remnant from the Ashes intro videos, intro menu, and the character menu are fixed. The uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, you know, you remember, one of those games that had a Linux version promised on their Kickstarter Never and heard of it. didn't deliver. Sorry, hang on, hang yeah. on, I had to pause Carmageddon, what was it? Yeah, right. dicks that they are, but that's been fixed in Proton G as well. And MP4 playback issues related to Crazy Machines 3. There's a couple of stuff that's still broken, there's other videos in Borderlands 3 and Spyro the Dragon and... Other not MP4 Spyro. playing stuff. Yeah. yeah. As it turns out, it's not fully there yet, but hey, having after, that after work looking at, out like, of the box. Of the, um, code work that they did, especially in the PlayStation for Spyro, I got just nothing but respect for that team of just yeah. diabolical, <laughs> like that. That's how you do copyright protection right there. Yeah. <laughs> it is brilliant. Um, I, I I I do like what you said in 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 the pre-show when when we added this in. Like, what, what what's the over under on like in two days we're gonna see another post? Like, yeah, we're rolling whoops. that back. That did not work. Whoops. Did not work. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, but it's not very often we <laughs> yeah. see that. Oh, something that we do need to mention is there is a there is a now is a um, beta program for Proton. So if you go into Steam and you set it up to go by tools. Where mm -hmm. you can select the Proton version of five point nine, right click on that, go to properties, and in the uh, beta tab, you can get into the development. It's called like Proton Next. Protonixed. 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 It's great. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but I've, I've like done it three times, man. Don't tell anyone. Mm. Man. What, 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 what about Artifact Next or Artif Next? Oh, Steve. Well, um, oh, Art of Next is uh, an interesting uh, concept. So, Valve um, have decided that they're going to try and salvage whatever is left of Artifact because, well, that game flopped massively. And 
one of the things that they're going the according to the roadmap is right now they're testing boring stuff and then they're going to start trickling out invites how for dare people. you accuse them of testing boring stuff where you come up a monster yes. Quitting, that's man. what they said <laughs> i'm literally just reading <laughs> off the thing and then they're going to start sending out beta invites to specific people and they're going to be testing while they do that and inviting more people and then finally get the open beta and maybe have something out at some point valve time uh yeah. but the yeah, biggest they're, they're... issue that i ran into with artifact was um the game like just the one game that I did outside of the tutorial, it took me like 45 minutes to finish that game. That That's not cool. Yeah, the, well, the the other the other big change they're implementing is uh, cards are free now. That's step zero in, you know, competing with Hearthstone. Um, now they're going to they're gonna be rolling. They're also going to be uh, rolling it out like the Portal 2 beta beta back in the day. If you remember, there was the Portal 2 beta, and there was the beta beta. Beta, 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 swing. Beta, 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 beta. Um, but yeah, um, not charging for cards. I think they're just going to be charging for the base game. It's probably a good move because the game itself is like what twenty bucks. Um, you can you can get cards from drafts now. Uh, you can um, they'll they'll be handing them out as like performance rewards, which I guess is like what you need to do. Mm -hmm. I, the, 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 on, honestly, I, th I think they were a little too bold. They got they, they were really trying to position this as like, yeah, this is going to be the new Magic the Gathering. So much uh -huh. so that we got the Magic the Gathering guy to mm -hmm. make this fucking game. This, um, this is like one of the one hundred percent things. I don't think at this point this this is uh, sunk cost. I don't think you could pay people to play this game. You can't make it a thing. Or did didn't Google Plus teach anyone anything? <laughs> what? That's the well, thing. I mean, I, uh, Google Plus taught us that you can make an excellent product, but if you fuck up the rollout, yeah. no one's going to use it. Pretty much. Yeah. It's got a stink I, on it, man. That, that, that's like, you just couldn't do it. Like, he, like think about it like if Canonical came out with the, even if it was the greatest thing in the world, like, no, we really have a replacement for X and Whalen and everything works out. Everyone would be like, nah. Oh, yeah. Remember the last time <laughs> yeah. you said that? You held exactly. back Whalen development by like I'm five saying, years? Uh, nah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. But. But, yeah, and one of the things that they're doing is they're going to be panning out the camera so you can see all three lanes of what's happening at once to avoid people getting shut out because, hey, guess what? If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And a lot of people were forgetting what was happening in the other lanes, and that's also part of the reason why the games take 45 minutes for a fucking game to finish. Um, yeah, no, it, it, the concept itself is broken. Valve, I don't. I don't necessarily think it's broken. I think it's just a little longer. The time investment is longer than you, most people are willing to invest. The, the, well, that, that's kind of the whole thing. Um, one of the like, producers uh, uh, of Auto um, Chess was the yeah. Auto Chess was the was the big thing. Like those were quick games, and that blew up. Yep, it blew up. Then it's you getting into a market like that. One of the creators of Cyanide and Happiness told me, gave me some very good advice a long time ago, and I said, "How do you break into?" And I was just asking about web comics. Very legitimate, uh, be the first. It's like, oh, and it's like, yeah. So, I, I, it's a card game in 2020, I, I just don't know where I'm at with like still putting effort behind that. I understand like wanting to make it a thing, I just don't see it ever unless it's just completely free to fuck around and play. Like, unless you do go that's like, the thing, Hearthstone was pretty big because it was uh free. And mm -hmm. for the most part, most people could keep up even without paying Blizzard money. Free, no app, then, and it was huge. It still is huge, despite not even being on Steam. Well, and yeah. so the, the the other thing, too, is like MTG Arena is successful because, A, Magic is probably one of the best designed card games out there, and it mm -hmm. has the name recognition. It's established, and the yeah. <laughs> and it, it, took, it took Watsi a good long time of fucking up before they came up with a good digital implementation of their card system mm. that people are they willing tried. to spend money on. <laughs> they, 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 they tried with MTGO, no one used it. They tried, like, Duel of the Planeswalker, that game was fucking yeah. terrible. And then they're like, why don't we just make the card game and just automate all the fiddly bits? Oh, and put some that's special what, effects and some particle yep. effects. That, there, that, that's what that's what the people <laughs> wanted. So make it fun, <laughs> which is something they're trying to do with the new volcanic update. From they're gonna fail a really, really. Uh, I think it's everybody's fantastic, except for Jordan. Jordan just can't handle balls. Uh, 
Golf I'm with your, not a fan golf of with your friends, man. This is a volcanic update. Don't give them credit, man. Don't give them credit. First of all, this is a two gig update. So I kind of expected something. <laughs> some, something. That's the size of a game. Yeah. <laughs> is that a Fargate? Oh, yeah, baby. That's 100%. Uh, this, it's magma. So you're going to burn. But one thing I'm definitely going to say after that two gig is like, are you going to surprise me? Well, they did. There's some new mechanics in this, and they've been doing that recently with, you know, the space level and that other level that was easily forgotten. But it was, oh, the worms, even though it runs like poop. The worms level, yes. Because yeah. <laughs> of all the particle <laughs> they effects and explosions. Are throwing legitimate map design in these updates versus the old strategy of like, here's a putt putt course, and here's some fucky shit in the way, which I still yep. found enjoyable because it was <laughs> between that and the broken game mechanics itself. It it was just fun, but this is getting really polished, man. They've tightened up the uh, menu selection, multiplayer. So yeah, yeah that's they, reliable they, now. <laughs> they, they, there, there's actually quite a few Linux fixes in the bug fixes. Apparently, there was a title crash in uh, the Twilight level. There's a sign issue where hole one would be visible at the start of every hole. Um, yeah, like they're, they're they're actually fixing stuff on the Linux side, which you know, for a Unity joint, good on you, right? <laughs> They are also go back, um, beautiful people. Rework that worms level because that thing takes my little twenty sixty down to like forty five at ten eighty p. That's rough. That's rough. But it's not good. <laughs> it's gonna blow. All right, coming up next, we got another Nvidia Vulcan driver, uh -oh. and we got a bundle of stuff to keep you indoors forever. Oh, okay. Have to talk about maybe danger danger how about danger, danger. danger when we touch when and when we kiss, kiss. danger <laughs> danger <laughs> Fuck it. all right vote vote dot linuxgamecast.com white fire to your local taco bell and vote on some show <laughs> titles Boop. let's see what do we have we had a couple come in um jill has volcanic update atomic i'll, 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 I'll give my break. sensitive little bottom a vote Elks, <laughs> Clappy Dude, from Alan, <laughs> Linux Zero, Twitch uh, Spoilers, Proton, Circum Circumcised Ben. Uh, is that spelled right? <laughs> Circumcised. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, it's, it's a it, no. It's it's a C, not a not a second okay. S. It just looks Circum odd. circumcised. I've learned not oh, to argue with English okay. either, man. Because it's like, yeah, that's right. They, oh, no, no. They, both ways are right. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. Oh, I hate, I hate when that happens. Like, oh, yeah, you can spell it this way or this way. It's valid. Like, okay, fine. <laughs> Apparently, if you Google circumcision in Canada, you get a COVID-19 alert. Nice. <laughs> don't, don't have a breast. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I'm back up to the top, and I need you to bump, bums them up. Yeah. Bums away! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're launching the bums! <laughs> bum 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 bum. That looks good. All right, no, that was a little far. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of the CAF plugins was like, hey man, I get some debug symbols I need to send to you. I'm like, nah, man, I'm good. I'm in the middle of a show, bro. <laughs> and then it was flipping out about the tempo map, which it shouldn't be. I'm debugging new things. It's all good. At the end of the day, there will be show. That was funny. Okay. Are we, are we guessing? Hold on. Oh. I'm copying the link. Fine. <laughs> Make it easy on everyone. You gotta, you gotta give us interpretive dance. <laughs> when you spot some kindergartners sharing a box of crayons. Uh... Communists detected on American soil. Lethal force. Engaged. I've never seen I'm, 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 I yeah. imagine if you like Fallout, maybe that's a, that's a funny joke. Is it? Is Probably it really? not. Okay. No, not really. 
It's like, oh, oh this has funny. a thing. This has a thing from a thing that I like. It makes it funny. LOL. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Just because I think um, uh, Liberty Prime there is so over the top that, uh, yeah, it tells it. <laughs> I might have ordered some of these. Some Master Sword keys? Blinks, yeah. So I can have some <laughs> duplicates. Okay. I need this key copied into this, please. <laughs> oh, baby, and I then, live in the future. Oh, oh. I go to the machine and give it to it, and it goes, zzz, now, zzz, and it drops out a key. So here, here's a question. Whenever you pull out of the keyhole, you'll be like, da -na -na -na. <laughs> No, Jordan, I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> says, says oh, the guy who makes the Doctor Who noise. In his head. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, no, 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 no. He, he he says that, but I know what he does with his TARDIS mug in the microwave. <laughs> Was this a before or after I bought the fucking key blanks with a master sword on it? I'm like, oh, where is your first clue, gumshoe? They look Don't tasty. Do you, do you eat keys? <laughs> I guess they are high in iron. Bitch, I can learn. <laughs> It's the key to healthy teeth and gums! Ha, ha, ha. That's just like one of those things you just get for yourself, man. Because don't don't be the person that gets that and try to be like, um, like, get some side eye. Be like, hey, man, notice this. <laughs> just like laying your keys out for no reason in front of people. Like, oh, yeah, hi, hey, how's everybody doing? There's my keys. Poking them around. <laughs> I try, to, I try to keep my keychain, like, as lean as possible. Same here. I have... Three. Three keys. Three keys, and these two that are for work. I got... <laughs> so, what, what, do, what do I have on there? I have my gym fob. I got my... The, the thing I need to scan into the building. I got my mail key, my apartment key, my desk key for work. I don't work, count my magnetic badge as a... Key is. I mean, it's it it gets a key in the sense that it grants access to a thing, right? Okay, well, it's not oh, a my, it's not a my key. That's chain. not a lanyard. Yeah, it's not a yeah, key chain. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm a, and oh, and I also have like a flash drive with like a bootable thing on it. Also, not a, oh, not a key. A USB key. I mean, if we were handing out hand jobs for every key, yes, I might bring that up as an <laughs> argument, but. <laughs> I just want I just want a hand job, man. <laughs> is that so much to ask? It's like this counts as a key. Scott, if you can get any details from those keys from a still on stream, mm -hmm. major freaking kudos because that camera's not that great. <laughs> Listen, man. Just just because he's not pa wait, he is paranoid. But they are out to get him though. <laughs> I thought he was finished with his woman because she couldn't help him with his mind. Nah, dude, don't you just think that about every person who's Finnish? It's weird. <laughs> I just roll with it at this point. I, I just assume every Finn is paranoid. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if they can help me occupy my brain. Dude, do you think they could have like a you have a Dolph Lundgren? Could you have like a Dolph Finn? <laughs> a Finn Dolph? Someone draw that. <laughs> it's just Dolph Lundgren with like a dolphin face. Or it's Dolph Lundgren with fins on there his neck. There we neck. go. That's where I was going. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Now I'm imagining like a muscly body, but instead of like muscly arms, they're just two fins. <laughs> two famous Finnish actors grafted on. This is equal to Tusk. It's Tusk, but it's spelt with an umlaut. Tusk. <laughs> I'm still gonna watch that movie. I, I just can't bring myself to watch it. Probably because I don't have ready. Right, it, it, that, 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 that's gonna require drugs. I just so, could watch that sober. So like, well, I could. I just wouldn't enjoy it at all. Do 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 we have do we have watch parties on our Twitch account? Can we do like Amazon Prime watch parties? We could do it Discord. We could, yeah. But I I, I do know that Twitch offers like uh, you can like stream a movie on Twitch. And like watch it with people. I think only with other Prime subscribers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'd be me, you, and like nine people, maybe. Huh. 
I, I, you know, I, you know I, I would say a Prime subscription is pretty common in the LGC, like, audience. True. All three so of like, us have it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have Optimus? I do. I got an Optimus laptop. Oh. That I, that I can use to watch Netflix. <laughs> I had one for a moment, a and I realized that, wait a second, if I install Ubuntu Mate, um, NVIDIA Prime comes pre-set up for me out of the box. Well, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> yeah, the uh, negative drivers will set you up for that. I forget if Pedro's on the left or right. I'm on the left. My left or your left? <laughs> The left on that picture. <laughs> Stage left. <laughs> we did some of that yesterday. Man, that broke. That broke hard. <laughs> that uh, broke because we got to the end where it wasn't finished, clearly. <laughs> well, that's that's what you get for running the, the Black Mesa Vita. Multiplayer well, we Vita. Like... Ogl Ogligated, yes. Um, Ogligated? We, we were extremely ogligated because... Uh, Oglibated. We, if you go to the mods page, our videos on the Steam store. No. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, ah, might as well finish it off. Which I don't think. Somebody else has got. I know there's some other LGC videos on Steam. I know someone. I don't remember what it was. Probably forgot it for good reason, if we're being honest. <laughs> Do 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 do. <laughs> beat it, just beat it. No one wants to be to beat. It. Yeah, this is beat it. Come on. Uh. Now I want it to be. Shamona. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! You triggered. I want to take you to a gay bar. <laughs> danger, danger! Have <laughs> outage. That's what we need. We need to get a um, Jackson impersonator reen um, cover of that. <laughs> Are there any living castros? My desire, my desire, my des I mean, there, there, there's some people who can still hit those high notes. All right, um, let me do a bye break, and we will get, we got a chunky news segment, man. Yes. Quite a bit of news. Mm. Castrato. Are there still Castratos? Let's find out. No, I think the last recorded <laughs> one was like in the early the 20s and ones. 30s, and um, he apparently by all accounts was not a very good one. Which... That sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> People in history are just like, yo, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's some people who can do it without getting castrated. Uh, Sam Adrian, Chris Colfer, uh, Bill Scott, Alex Newell. What, what, how do you know? Did it, is there a castrometer? No, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, can you as a man hit a soprano note? Or not a soprano. I, there's um, totally yeah. a castrometer. A castrometer? Yep. Uh, yeah, ma ma male singing voice that's equivalent to a soprano, a mezzo-soprano, or a contralto. Uh, there were some cute little bugs in the, um... <laughs> I thought you were going to say there's some cute little castrated people. That came out of your brain, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. I'll get something to drink. I'll be back. I, I, I mean, I mean, Varus is kind of cute. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was more than castration, though. <laughs> How so? He was castrated. He's a eunuch. That's okay. Yeah, technically, that... technically, his cock and balls were sacrificed to a demon. But yes, like I but... said, that's not just castration. That's more. <laughs> he he may also be a secret Targaryen. There's some or technic or technically a black fire. If you're into those theories. Who are, <laughs> I mean, technically, Blackfires are Targaryens, but they're a splinter group. 
<laughs> Game of Thrones, man. <laughs> Listen, if if, if 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 you were really upset with like the Game of Thrones TV show, go to go to YouTube. Go track, look down, look up a guy named Alt Shift X. He does like really in depth coverage for Game of Thrones on like um. On like the books, and like it's actually it's actually pretty good if you want to like get into the story at large and see how it's better in the books than it is in the show. <laughs> like yeah, yeah I still here. want my spinoff series about uh, Catelyn Stark becoming a Lady Stark zombie. Yeah, <laughs> but like she only shows up like four times, <laughs> and like the 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 way they did that in the in the book is incompatible with what they did in the show. Regardless. <laughs> Ugh. Was it my internet or was it Ven's internet that went to poop? I think it was Ven's. Okay, you're also getting the very low dev video. <laughs> I mean, I always do. When I was on my Jitsi, it was holding up. Actually, now that I'm here, uh, where is, I got, let's play Find That Terminal. There it is. <laughs> Find that terminal. Yeah, I, I, I'm so used to Terminator now that I only have the one terminal window open at any time. It may have been already been divided into like 16 different consoles, but it's just the one window. <laughs> What are we on? Terminator. The terminal emulator. <laughs> Castrato! Uh, what was that thing? It's called a dress. <laughs> I mean, it's... I'm actually looking for something about an address, so that's <laughs> not completely unhelpful, but... Postal code? No, it was the flag for the Jitsi thing. Now that I had a minute, I was just gonna turn it on. Oh, okay. I just gotta, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to remember what the specific thing was. Because there was a there was a note in the README. Oh, it was like do this thing. You're like, oh right, remember to do. Th oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Are we running at K10? Hmm? Uh... Okay. Oh, it is set. Is it not populated? Uh, Dr. Host. Oh, okay, there it is. What'd you do? Uh, I uncommented a line in a config file. Oh. Docker, ladies and gentlemen, strengths and weaknesses, all at once. No, I mean, this is all done through a Docker Compose file. If I did it via Kubernetes deployment, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> Um, Docker Compose. Why can't I type today? Mm. That's me typing. Do you have that problem? Like, oh. When you get up in the morning and like if you start hammering on something, we're typing. I'm, usually, I'm getting back to emails and like on a fucking keyboard, dude. So I've been up for like ten minutes. Oh boy, that's rough. Well, for, for for me, it's like going back and forth because I got like the chunky mechanical keyboard, and then I got the Mac keyboard, and the layouts are different, and the hotkeys are different, and mm. it's just like my English is like bad, bad. And I'm like, what? What? I, I'm going back and like, you know, just doing the cursory, like, really. what was I going for on that word? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, the the upside is if you drop that into a Google search, it will like actually correct all the words for you. Google Docs, man. I, I got a blank <laughs> yep. Google Docs just for like, okay, grammar check. Yes. Then I argue with it. Yeah. I have to teach it words. I'm like, no, wait, that's that's a word. I willed that word into being. Deal with it. Um, All right. So multi-room should work now? Question mark. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll try in the after show. We'll get everyone in there. Yeah. 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 
Um, uh, I guess I, was, I should also probably set up the Let's Encrypt stuff. Oh, don't do that. I, I was giving you shit about that, like, <laughs> as soon as you logged off Jitsi. I was like, oh, man. It doesn't have, like, the automated uh, Let's Encrypt. It, it, it does. I just, it's not uncommented in the config file. Oh. It's not. A, it's, it's just not on by default because you got to give it like an email address, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. That was one of those like, oh, that's neat. I'll do it later. Understood. All right. So let's do the news. In three, two. Once upon a time, the news segment used to start with drivers here and there, but now, now we need to do some shilling before we get to that. Right, Jordan? Nope. No, not, not at all. Okay, then Never go happen. fuck yourself. <laughs> I, 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 I will. If you, if you, if you want to fund my loot purchases, you can head on over to linuxgamecast.com. <laughs> Put your mouse over the support button. We got PayPal. We got Libra Did you Pay, say we got mouse Bitcoin. or mouth? Yes. Okay, just checking. Put your mouth against the monitor and tongue that support mouth button. in the hole. Ooh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, um... Wow, that's gonna, that's gonna get us flagged. Um, for yeah, science? Um, Why do you hate science, science, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't make them enough money. You gotta, get, you gotta show that anti-science, right? Anywho, um... You should check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. It gives you a bunch of cool stuff by being a Patreon, like access to the show notes, where you can suggest show stories, you can fact check us, you can ask questions, you can do all sorts of stuff, because you can just comment on the Google Doc that we all collaborate with. Um, you also get access to our uh, Discord channel. That's pretty cool, because you get to hang out with us the other six days of the week. You can also show up a little bit early for the pre-pre-super shows on Saturdays. If you want to listen to us talk about Bullshit, really. It's it's just hundred percent bullshit. There's like nothing a real value in there. But if you need if you need that extra LGC what content, you did, what would you basically just is like? Do you, do you find Linux Gamecast Weekly a little too scripted? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you want Pre to go through like five minute stretches of silence? Let's be honest. <laughs> our, our agreement with you for like even releasing that is just a gentleman's agree. Oh shit, Basil. Why? Thanks, Basil, oh, for the so thousand cute. bit. You're so, you're so sexy, Basil. It's just ah. a friendly agreement of like, we'll record that and we'll give you a feed of it. Just nobody work on anyone, okay? Yeah. We can still yep. be friends. <laughs> uh, we, we got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. You should check that out. Buy yourself a t shirt, buy some stickers, buy some mouse pads, yep. buy some coffee cups. By we don't we don't have the booty shorts. So sad. This Still. this is not my fault. Teespring, give me some booty shorts, and we'll let we, Jordan we, wear them. We we gotta got we gotta move over to booty spring. Am I right? Booty spring. Up. Don't don't <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> go there at your own risk. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> we don't don't say we didn't warn you. Uh, we also we also got uh, Amazon wish lists. Um, putting all this stuff together is not cheap. It requires quite a bit of hardware. And if you want to help us out, you can get your name on the shiny wall behind Ven. As I was showing everybody six inches. Yeah. It's true. Look at look at look at that. Look at all that glare. But you can't read. Um, <laughs> we, we, we also got the Amazon LGC you get bonus store. Bonus points if you can read all the names. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I'll give you yeah. a hint. That's our Theron between Basil and Linux Nero. <laughs> oh, look at that. Helping people <laughs> cheat. You monster. Yeah, we do. Cheater, have Carl, cheater, Mike, pumpkin Basil, <laughs> Linux Nero. You guys have helped put this thing together. You're you're our fucking game sharks, man, helping us cheat our way through this and get it done Mo so much quicker. Mo most, mostly Mike G. Mike G has spent a lot of money on <laughs> studios. Yes. I am sitting on a Mike G chair right here. <laughs> I wish I was sitting on a Mike G chair. I've been sitting on this kitchen chair for like a year now. My butt is so sore. You know what? You guys. I, I, I just assumed you had butt calluses at this. Also, it's your own downfall. Yeah. So <laughs> Butt calluses. That that's show title. Jordan's right. butt is so hard right now. It's anywho. You can uh, strike so 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 is the rest of me. Hey 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 hey. <laughs> all, right, all right all right. We 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 got some, we got some news we got to get to. I don't know, man. Now I'm thinking about. All right. Yeah. Fine. Do, do we do we just fine. want to talk about my Shut butt? Up. I'm I'm Go fine away. with talking about my bad butt. Bad touch. Bad touch. We got to talk about Vulcan <laughs> sweat, driver baby support. sweat. We got some new stuff in the latest. Uh, you know, we were talking about spec updates and all that other fun stuff. But 
uh, when was it? the April 2nd release, we mm-hmm. got an interesting little fix, man, didn't we? Well, I think it was April 1st, the first one rolled out. We got a fix for the Linux Steam Play Doom Eternal, which I'm sure made Strader very happy because he's like, I can play on my NVIDIA now instead of his uh, whatever. Uh, not NVIDIA card. That other one, AMD. Ugh, I'm an uh, NVIDIA. So. All right. <laughs> That's a big thing, man. Um, mainly for me because NVIDIA hates Linux, right, guys? I, I I mean they have a they have a complicated relationship with Linux. Let's put, let's put it that way. It's 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 yeah. not it's not <laughs> like they say they hate each other, but like every other weekend they're hooking up. So like oh, it's one of those. Yeah. So like, do they really hate each other? I I don't think so. I think there's that's a lot for show. Um, but yeah, they've they've been cranking out these Vulcan drivers pretty regularly now. It's like once every week or every two weeks or so. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder, I wonder why that is, uh, I guess like the new, the new spec version came out. They're trying to get all these extensions in the hands of developers, et cetera, et cetera. Well, Vulcan's definitely rolling out. I mean, in a, it, it, at a clip too, and new things are, you know, mm-hmm. 1.2 rolled out and they got to play around with that and they're working with that, but they're getting things like Proton. You're like, why are they working on that? Because it helps them find bugs they otherwise probably wouldn't have ever run across. Ab- absolutely. Very much. Uh, and it's well, a very significant use case for, you know, us common folk Linux users who use Proton to play their entire backlog yeah, library I, I, of games. I, 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 I mentioned it because we haven't seen like a regular driver or beta driver released in a while. It seems that they're focusing all their driver efforts on the Vulcan driver, mm. which not not necessarily a bad thing. It's just different, yeah. right? It's a thing, man. Which you know, it's just Vulcan, a different branch you got to track. Vulcan's going to be the business. It is the business, and you know, Vulcan's going to be something that people are still going to be dealing with ten years from now, like willingly, as opposed to oh, we got to do all this DX stuff. Well, maybe they'll be well. There already is a wrapper. Ah, it's a joke. Okay. Um, C nineteen is not a universe from Rick and Morty. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, it might be, but oh, we haven't yeah. met. Fair point, uh, fair point. Rick or Morty C19 as far as we know but if uh, you are stuck at home because of all the uh, current ongoing health concerns well Humble is uh, for the next two days at the time of recording they will be uh, hosting the uh, £25.50 bundle uh, for um a bunch of games. Honestly, there's a bunch of games there. There's, there's even a couple Linux Killing ones. Floor, Super and... Hot, Dark Siders 2. Um, you know, this is the police. What do we have? Let's go ahead and take a look. We got the jackpot jackpot party back. Bu- bu- yeah. Bunch yes. of double fine party games hard, if you don't already own them. Um, what else? There's Hollow Knight, Broken there's Age. Undertale, there's Into the Breach. There's uh, the one game Pedro and I were like, yeah, I don't know if I want to pay 30 bucks for Wizard of yeah, Legend. I want um, Wizard of Legend, but I don't 25 pounds 50 want wizard of legends <laughs> yeah i could buy it for cheaper on steam that's the, the thing so so they they, all, they also have some uh they also have some books and comics they got like some health help, self-help books mm-hmm. which i probably don't recommend they have a starfinder like world book which is kind of silly because they don't include the base game with it so like it's kind of useless but they do have some decent comics um they got the army of darkness mm-hmm. uh yeah. They got the first volume of The Boys. Uh, if you have not read Saga, I highly recommend that. That is just a really good comic. You can get the first volume here. Spawn Origins, Undiscovered Country, uh, Criminal Coward, so some and uh, Lumberjanes. So some like actually decent comics too. If you want to like sit down and read something, hmm. yeah, I'm done. And with that. the games themselves, most of them are really good. And if you don't have them, if you don't have Hollow Knight and Into the Breach and. Uh-huh. Undertale. This is um, an absolute deal, especially if you've been holding off. And if you've been looking for something to do, 30 bucks, man. I mean, this all goes to charity, you know? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, 100% with that. But, but, we Loop. got a new version of Lupus. It's true. If Lupus. you if you have so, if you got some games in the Humble Bundle that uh, don't run on Proton too well, you might want to try using this uh, version zero point five point five is out. Feeling five, uh, they got some uh, some big changes this time around. Uh, Humble Bundle support for uh, your non GOG DRM free games. Um, they have resolution uh, support for Mutter in Wayland. Uh, ACO is turned on by default. Dixvix is enabled by default because you know D nine VK has been all squooshed together into uh, Dix. Fix. Um, there's a bunch of changes involving that. There's an authentication. Matthew, for God. Matthew, we gotta have a talk, buddy. Um, you're probably listening right now. If not, I'll hit you in Discord. Screenshots on. 
screen. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he, you know, he he did add the Yuzu Runner for your legitimately ROM dumped Switch games that mm -hmm. you totally bought. Um, and uh, the, absolutely. Yeah, Where do you stand on that, Ben? It's like if I can't legally buy the game, f you. I'm, you know, I'm not asking if I'm going to play it. Mm -hmm. it and oh I'm no, talking uh, about that like is one of for like the companies that are gone, abandonware stuff like that. You know, abandonware well, yeah. is a bit more complicated. But if you are uh, completely unable to legally purchase a bit of content that you want to consume and you want to pay for it, but you literally don't have the option, HBO, um then yeah what did I you just wait hang on no no couldn't have like can you just like holiday in portugal over the weekend just download everything just stay at a good motel <laughs> Ch much. challenge challenge mode going to portugal <laughs> well i i and I, and I and i mean so like here's the thing though a lot a lot of the a lot of the games on the switch store are also on steam you can actually buy a copy of it uh but if you're looking for like first party titles like your marios or your zeldas or your pokermans yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get stuck paying. I, I paid two hundred dollars for Pokemans last week. One 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 for me, one for someone else, so I can add someone to trade you. Because I'm not <laughs> hundred bucks a game, man. Eighty eight. It's it's eighty nine ninety nine Canadian for a first party title. Wet tax. It's a hundred bucks. You're not oh, allowed man, to complain about prices price. for like three weeks. I am allowed to complain nope. about prices for three weeks because nope. I had to pay the I had to pay the gold price, man. That. Uh... Uh, I'll complain about the price for, once for, I eventually buy Bloodborne for the PS4. For, for, first party Dave console games. <laughs> this, this, this is why I mostly game on PC. This is why it's I haven't because... bought a console since the 32X. And I don't even know if that counts. It was an add-on. Yeah. Either, either, either way, uh, you should check it out. Lots of improvements for Lutris. They're doing... Strider's Strat doing good work. Um... Yeah, making sure that games run on Linux, Keep even if going. they are Epic Store exclusives. So this yeah. next one, I do believe, um, I think Pedro and I were interested in like halfway down the page. And like it just keeps going. It does. Um, but so uh, the in Mesa, Intel has enabled the near, not the near automata, the NIR extension. <laughs> oh, they flipped the um, near bit. Yes, that one. The, the, yeah, the near. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 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 it, make, it makes your computer give birth to like a naked man who tries to fight you and then you have to kill him Been as there. he keeps leveling up, right? Um, no, but uh, this is this is enabling some of the uh, functionality that was introduced in ACO into the NVIDIA driver, or not the NVIDIA driver, God damn it, the Intel driver, the Intel driver, <laughs> Intel driver, Intel and NVIDIA are different, Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, this, this is offering about like a 10% performance improvement on uh, people on Iris Pro, they're saying. And you know what? This is great news for people who are stuck with cheap laptops, which is an Intel IGP. Like, yep. one, 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 of, one of the big selling points we often say with Linux is that it runs better on lower end hardware. And part of that requires you to have optimized drivers that can actually run games at reasonable ish frame rates. Mm -hmm. Like, again, yep. again, like if you're on, on an Intel IGP, like, you're hitting 30 that's that's a good day that's a good day for like a 3d game dude but yeah well, here's where i'm at well then is when you're talking 10 percent, you're going from especially if you're an intel laptop you're like ah i can kind of run games but if you're talking the difference between like 45 and 55 or you know just getting over to 30 maybe you're at 24 and maybe you can get over mm -hmm. 30 and you can live with 30 as you know just smooth enough i mean that's a game changer stuff like this it, it yeah. is or you know and you know you know what maybe maybe this is also for that uh dedicated intel gpu that's gonna blow our socks off right guys oh man, you, you mean the uh the laptop chip that they put on its own dedicated um, 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 I, 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 uh, I, I told you man we'll read your fanfic after the show's over okay <laughs> <laughs> it's a steamy one <laughs> Let's talk about some Vulcan rays, man. Uh, Josh, Joshua, is onto something, man. Uh, something is migrating VK, KHR, ray tracing. So what is this? Well, Josh has done one and ported the Quake 2 RTX to the new VK, KHR, ray tracing cross vendor extension, which is something, what did we talk about, like two weeks ago? It, NVIDIA yeah. rolled out, and they're like, yo, man. Now everyone can use it. You get a ray, and you get a ray, and you get a ray, and that's kind of brilliant. So I looked at this, I thought about it, and I was like, okay, fine. It's been a minute since I built Quake Two with ray tracing from source because it's not my first rodeo. 
And lo and behold, I'm just, I, I didn't expect anything like a bump. And then still got like 40, 45. Yeah. 1080p. I mean, <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, really all this is doing is just making sure that any other sort of ray tracing implementation yeah. done in the hardware will work with Quake 2 RTX, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I guess if now that Dix Fix is when pretty that stable. Ever happens. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, the next gen of AMD cards, probably Intel's going to have some low end version of that. I don't know. But with Dix Vic stabilizing, Josh needed something to do, I guess. So <laughs> you could have worse hobbies, right? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 could, you could be flying an X plane. <laughs> You absolutely could, and uh, maybe you could be doing it with Vulcan, not with ray tracing yet, but uh, X-Plane 1150 has um, Vulcan support, and uh, they say that modern rendering via Vulcan and metal, oh god. I got god. a page that does fuck all when I'm clicking on <laughs> By links. checking an option in the graphics settings screen and then restarting X-Plane. So... Yeah, the Vulcan and Metal, go figure, uh, are now available in the new version of x -Plane. You just have to go to the options menu and uh, throw a bit of a tick. There's a couple of interesting known bugs. Namely, uh, VR right eye not working with Vulcan. Oh, man. What about VR <laughs> left eye? Like Apparently Lisa, Lisa, the left eye works just fine. It's the right what, one that goes. What, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What if you're Lisa Left Eye Lopez and you go chasing waterfalls? Too soon. Man. Don't. Too soon. Just don't. <laughs> gotta listen to TLC, man. This is kind of interesting. I'm a little let down there. Uh, just for myself because like I want to try this, but I don't need to get sucked into it. It is interesting trying to pilot something with a keyboard. I, um, getting it off the runway. That, that's not too bad. Trying to put it down using... Mouse the... yaw. <laughs> uh, yeah, could you add support for like my Behringer X-Touch compat so I use the motorized fader? I'd probably have better luck with it. Um, make it fight me. I want like force feedback. No, oh no, dude, that, that's what we need. Like Steam input support for mixers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let, let's do it, baby. Um, that's a cool thing, you know. Uh, kudos on them for like doing the metal thing because that was just out of kindness man for our brothers and sisters on the mac mm. seriously quit it, quit trying to game on mac stop <laughs> yeah just you're, 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 apple you're, has made it clear they don't want you as a customer now buy another your, iphone your, your poor little macbook will overheat you Oh no! It's... You open two tabs in Safari, your MacBook goes throttling now. And no, then... no, no! You 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 open up VI in the terminal and you go. You know what? Somewhere right now, a Mac user is walking over to your Chromebook and patting it on the head and going, "Shut up, fucko." <laughs> Adam, what is it? Uh, Adam is a um, game written in love. It's a shmup. Um, you can. <laughs> m m m once again, Arch users got to use Pac-Man in order to get love. Uh, but yeah, you check out the Git, you run love dot in the directory, and it launches in a very long, tiny window. It's like, mm. it's about yay wide and about yay long. Uh, <laughs> and it's um, it, it, it's a shmup. You got you to gotta stop people from getting to the bottom of the screen. You gotta so it's got like of the classical smuck elongated. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it, 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 is, it is long, long window, though. Uh, but yeah, getting it up and running is really simple because love is a scripting framework. So yeah, you just you run love in the directory of the source and away you go. Um, it definitely looks like a, like a hobby gaming project. There's like a story or something, I guess. I don't know. I played like There's the first three dialogue. boards. <laughs> there, 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 there is dialogue. The hell if I read it though. I'm I'm sorry, developer of additive, <laughs> David Leonard Wenzel. I I, I just couldn't care. The, well, do you know what? I'm going to be 100 percent man. Um, you don't really look for dialogue heavy shmups, do you? I, I guess, no. I guess if you're playing Toho, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, people that play mm, those games for the dialogue, I think. C could we? I want you for the plot. The 16 by 9. Have you seen yeah. some of the playthroughs on YouTube? <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. And I don't even know what World of Might and Magic is. I've heard it, though. It, well, it's called uh, not building on your box, is what it's called. Okay. Yeah. Apparently that's what it means. Uh, it is a, an open source re-implementation of, of the Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8 and, uh, engine, which 
they all, uh, all three of them use the exact same engine. And uh, GP Alex is attempting to uh, create an open source re-implementation of it. For what reason, only he knows. Um, he does say that the Might and Magic... Oh, six that's through a classic eight. snake GUI. When you bring a GUI into it, you've, you just yes. don't do it. Well, so, so, so like, no, notice how all these screenshots are Visual Studio, too. This, this is your first hint. This is your first <laughs> okay. hint that something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, and, you uh, know, one, he one of my... Says, go ahead. Might and Magic 6 through 8 engine remake using original data and code. It's like, okay, the data I get, you still need to get the original data from the game. As usual, open source re-implementations. Does the code bit mean that people have to fire up their own IDE, like in the case of the screenshots, uh, Visual Studio, or, um, and build it themselves even on the other operating system? No, uh, that- I mean, so it, it could just refer to like some of the game scripts because that's code technically. It could also just mean nothing, right? Like, oh, you just need a copy of the original game, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's all. Could that's be. all it's really saying. He just worded it weirdly because he wanted to be fancy or something. I don't know. What I do know though is that when you're making a uh, an SDL project, you should probably use consistent casing because you have to move <laughs> CMake third-party modules capital S lowercase d lowercase l two dot CMake to one Listen, that's all man, caps. He was just cause... Linux proofing his code base. It's it, it, it's true. <laughs> it's it's true because you know when when you once you actually sort that and you run CMake <sighs> and it runs cleanly and then you run make it's like I can't find Windows.h and I'm like oh buddy you're not gonna find it here. <laughs> No, yeah, sir. I'm not insulting Minge W64. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, I technically already have it installed, but the point still stands. It's principle like, at it's, this point, right? Like, so there's, there's there's no Linux support currently. It's open source, though, so maybe someone would be interested in adding Linux support because it is all SDL2 based. There you so go. So it, it would not be particularly mm-hmm. difficult, but in its current state, no Linux for you. Come back next year. Something we like to do at the end of a news segment every now and then is when a news outlet or uh, something that claims to be uh, rolls out, this is how to Linux. And we like to grade them, you know, and come back and take a read and be like, oh, did you do a good job explaining to people? Maybe we're back. Yes, I I, oh, I can hear you now. Uh, let me check Twitch. Oh, they can they they can hear me. They they, yeah. they can hear you. <laughs> People right. are saying audio's back. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's another point. What what happened there? Uh, did, 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 that that I, was. I'm gonna. I'm a little bit to blame for that. Uh, Ador. I oh, yeah. I figured like maybe Ador crashed or something. Or Ador uh, just noped, and if Ador goes down, we go down. Yeah, it it, it takes all. I heard the thing, click. So. I heard the click. It's like click. And everything's so quiet. <laughs> I, I I thought things were gonna get very interesting there for a minute because I lost my return. And, you know, I'm hearing myself, I'm like, oh no, don't be the preamp. Oh no, don't be the interface. Oh, oh. all right, that's fine. Don't, don't be restart. all the other ninety yeah. things in this chain that exactly. can break. Don't don't be the expensive <laughs> hardware shit. Um. So let's just. Uh, yeah, man. One thing we like to do is, you know, give everybody kind of grade another outlet, uh, be it, you know, a game site or, you know, just a tech blog or anything like this. This particular one is PC Gamer and what they've done. You know, we covered a, what's uh, the new egg thing? You know, they were doing a couple things every week of like, this yeah. is how game, you get into Linux. Game Haven, Game this Index is how or you something. Do the gaming. This is how you do the Linux. And we like, you know, maybe not. We don't like to throw them shade. We like to throw them a grade. So. We're going to take a look at this. And it, they say, man, it's surprisingly easy to switch to a gaming PC. Wait, it, it's easy to switch to, to a gaming PC. To switch a gaming PC to Linux, yes. To switch it. I guess that works. I don't like the way that's worded. Also, I don't like the Windows <laughs> logo. So, bad. Pedro, how did they do? <laughs> Honestly, it was all good because it was, it's mostly an article about how um, the author, Corbin Davenport. Oh, PC Gamer, go fuck yourself. 
yes, auto playing they videos. have that stupid pop up video. Um, and pop -up video. they say it's like, okay, you have uh, System 76 and you have Dell, and he is telling uh, his own story about how he bought an XPS 13 and he put Linux on it, and all of a sudden he started to realize, wait a second, this. This isn't so hard. It's like, yes, I'm still playing games on a laptop, which, yeah, it only has the Intel um, uh, integrated Could GPU, uh, but maybe I can just play possibly games. Possibly picked another game than Witcher Three, buddy. Actually, uh, he also makes a very good point about that because it's like, okay, th there were some games that uh, were promised uh, Linux support at some point, but didn't actually land. And he uh, singles out The Witcher Three for that, and then he says, "But Proton is a thing." As it turns out, if you enable Proton, games like The Witcher Three, GTA Five, um, what's the other one he brought up? Skyrim, No Man's Sky, um, all of those work out of the box and they do and again this was all very good and he says there are some rough spots uh it, he specifically calls out that some desktop environments can only do like uh integer scaling 100 percent, 200 percent, 300 percent. gnome looking at you um and he ends the article by saying, you can take Linux for a spin. And he says, if you don't like Pop! OS, which is what every other um, outlet out there is basically recommending, that or Manjaro, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't like Pop! OS, uh, you could try Linux Mint. It's like, oh, god damn it, you were doing so well. <laughs> all right. well uh, Help damn. me out. Why do you have such a hate boner for Mint? It's uh, so, uh, not very good. Compared to what? <laughs> Like honestly, you I would probably, too. <laughs> I, I would I would probably recommend poo poos over over mint these days. Mint's yeah. heyday was like mint's heyday was back in like two thousand like fifteen two thousand fourteen ish. I think they've sort of fallen off the rails. There are other distributions that are doing a better job of what it was yeah, like. Arch. Well, I, I would I would say something like Manjaro, Manjaro or something. Yeah. <laughs> Arch. So Ar Ar Arch minus all the headache. Um, but yeah, uh, and I and I mean like. It, Ubuntu makes some questionable decisions, and sometimes other entities like Valve have to it be like... It makes very questionable decisions, but the fact of the matter is, it is the most popular Linux distro. Whether although some people I, want to admit it or not. <laughs> although, I, I mean, the, the, the guy is good enough to bring up that, like, hey, you know, driver, drivers are a thing. Um, open, AMD open source driver is good. I think I think by now the Pop OS images have all of the new Mesa stuff in place, so you can use your 5700 XT, mm -hmm. uh, or make sure that you download uh, the NVIDIA spin that has the driver prepackaged, so that mm -hmm. you don't have any sorts of installation pains. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm as 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 an educator. I don't think it's a good idea to sort of make people hold people's hands through that because i think that's the thing they need to learn how to do in order to be self-sufficient but at the same time to get started yeah 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 you gotta trickle it in right because at the end of the, the day the, just pick a distribution and install the damn thing and learn from there pretty much yeah, yeah. but you know, that's the thing you there's not a magic distribution you have to different strokes for different folks <laughs> well if you're in the process of installing it half half of your about three quarters of your battle is done yeah okay yeah. And you, you can learn to fuck around with Linux in a VM. That's not a problem. But I mean, if you want to take Pepsi Challenge, you know, nuke and pave. Yep. And Pedro don't will hold boot. up his laptop with stickers don't on it. Don't dual boot. Is that a beastie Linux. sticker? No, no. There's no telling that. No telling All right. That. All right. The, the moral of the story is use haiku. Yep. Coming up next, we're getting derpy, boys. We're getting Woo. four times as derpy as we did the last time. D capital E. Lowercase p. Dep, yes. Derp. Dep! Dep! Like Johnny? Yeah. No, just, no, that's two p's. <laughs> Dep. <laughs> so. Ah! That's what you get. That was quite loud. Good. It was supposed <laughs> to be. It was punishment. <laughs> I don't know for what, but fuck, you're going to do something. <laughs> All right, that's fair. I am bound to do something at some point. Vote, vote at LinuxGamecast.com. Vote on some show titles. Apparently, Jordan's sensitive little bottom is at the top. Mm. <laughs> it's because I'm a power bottom, baby. 
<laughs> JSLV, baby. I'll give I'll give I'll give I'll give, I'll give Depp a uh, I'll give Depp a boat. <laughs> Deep. Depp. <laughs> Dip. The moral of the story is never never do math on stream. Never try to spell anything out loud on stream. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> That's when people are calling you out on your bullshit immediately. <laughs> Tongue that support button, sure. <laughs> I though he spelled tung wrong. It's tung. Oh no! Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, my tongue is all brown from coffee. Oh. <laughs> that's that's an attractive sight. Oh yeah. The most. All right, I need to pee. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. There's my hood. Um, that's six, five, twelve. I am going to copy that. I think I might pull off a YOLO. In a second, ladies and gentlemen. A, B, C, downloads, paste. Mm-hmm. You know, theoretically, I should be able to get away with this. What do you think, Jordan? Get away with what? What? Well, take all the fun out of it. If I told then, you. Then, probably not. Okay. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's install a different version of a door. Live. Found existing Adour installation. Do you want to run the uninstaller? All right, kids. While it's, while, while it's running in RAM, in RAM, you think it'll you think it'll hold? No, 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 no. One, well, that's um, <clears throat> our audio is going to go down. If things work, we can come back it'll up come in back about up. thirty seconds. If not, get ready to get some popcorn. That's all I'm saying. All right. Maybe. It's back. I can hear stuff. Hey. YOLO. Like legit, that was YOLO. I don't know what the fuck this is. The power of Linux. <laughs> what happened? What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's how you fill in a clear, I guess. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what this thing is. I didn't even know what I posted at the time. I was like, what the hell is this? I need to embiggen it. Always forget the URL from the first pass. I'm like, oh, nope, that's a directory. Hang on. All right. Uh, you, what, what, so, so what kills me is on Linux, you can stick the RF at the end of the command. On Mac, it's like, I can't remove the dash RF file. It's like, God damn. Oh, Apple. Is that a oh, BSD Apple. thing, or is that just straight up Apple? Being... I think that's a BSD thing. Because mm. it, it, depend, it depends on how, like, the commands are implemented, right? Right. And I know that Apple uses, like, really old GNU stuff so that they don't have to share source code. Like, the, the, there's, there's a reason that, like, my bash RC is just full of aliases to the homebrew versions from, like... <laughs> You know, a recent a recent release of FreeBSD. Mm -hmm. uh, Hundred percent legit. Because you know what, FreeBSD works. It gets it the job done. I mean, up until very recently, if I had to do anything web facing, it was done with BSD, not Linux. It's 
It's too many games on Linux. You gotta use BSD to get any work done. <laughs> Haiku, man. A lot Haiku. of stuff <laughs> runs under BSD, though, surprisingly. There, there's a BSD gaming subreddit. Yeah, there, 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 there's some crazy dudes who are trying to, like, decompile uh, FNA games and, like, swapping out the... Uh, so I've been out the binaries with like the BSD compiled ones. Yeah. That just seems like. Oh, that's hardcore, man. That's like going back to. That's about as intuitive as running games on a Mac. <laughs> that's like rocking like 1999 Linux. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you you insist on using BSD, man, that's, that's what you gotta do. If that's how you roll, man. I mean, there, there's a. Uh... What are the advantages of BSD in on the desktop? Mm. I don't know. Uh, There's got to be well, one. no, because like you, no, because you're just you're still like running it's GNOME or XFCE secure. or whatever, right? Like, yeah, like the their their <laughs> security model is different. Like, if you're a security focused organization, I can see people like insisting on running BSD on workstations. There's but, too like, many people doing it for it to be security through obscurity. You use Open Solaris for that. Yeah, or or um. What's, what's the IBM one? Fuck. Yeah. What? Yeah. AIX. Yeah. AIX, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's, it's not necessarily security through obscurity. It's like BSD like purposefully implements a secure model where Linus is just like, ah, security bugs are just bugs. We've got to fix them. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's a reason why there's like the there was like the GRSEC patches because like they actually implemented like an actual security model that's not like sort of tacked on. There were, um... Oh, you mean the ones that Linus was constantly, um, giving shit to? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... And saying that the their thing. patches were shit? <laughs> well, so here, here's the thing. Linus isn't infallible, and there's problems in the kernel. Like, it's, 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 it's especially from a security standpoint, like, given, given the number of servers that are running Linux right now, I do think they need to have a greater focus on, like, secure programming techniques. Um, I think, I think, um, I think it's, it's necessary and it's something that Linus is kind of dragging his feet on. Like, look, like, here, here's the thing, like, you, you can't just say like, oh, I run Linux, I don't have to worry about, like, malware or viruses. Like, no, there are, there are specific targeted malware and viruses for Linux now. It's gotten, yes. it's got, it's gotten big <laughs> enough that now you actually have to start giving a shit. But that's the thing. Most of the um, vectors for actually getting someone to run a bit of malware are limited. Uh, yes, on Linux. But <laughs> right. But here's here's the thing. Humans are the biggest weak point in your security yes, chain. Yes, th that that is uh, inevitable. Yes. <laughs> so so here's the thing. You, you can't just say like these vectors are limited. Some idiot will always click a link on an email they shouldn't. It's not. A, it's not yes, a matter of if. It's a. It's a matter of when. Doesn't. At that point, it doesn't matter which operating system you're running. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not true because you if your op, if your operating system is security securely designed. And there's effective privilege separation in place, and there's a good security model that stops people from pivoting and getting better uh, better permissions than they should. Then it mitigates the issue, and that's the point. You want to have you want to flip through the you want to cut through the net. You don't want to you don't want to get caught by it. That's it. That's the whole. That's <laughs> the whole point of security. Some people would even say that you could uh, technically make Windows do all of that. In fact, we you, do that at work for the most part. You could, you could yeah. <laughs> there, but there and and there is a reason that it costs like millions of dollars of software licensing to lock down mm -hmm. your Windows boxes to the point where they're actually secure. Three different uh, bits of uh, wow. anti malware that we have on our work laptops. Three, <laughs> not counting um, ATP. <laughs> Because that's on there too. <laughs> what? Telnet mail client. <laughs> the mail client. Mm, how you do? 
Yeah, I, 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 had to, I had to explain to an admin who has like 15 years of experience why keeping your internal DNS on a public-facing zone is a bad idea. It's like, well, they can't access anything. Yeah, but they can map your fucking network. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you just told them exactly how everything's laid out. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> they it's can't really break easy. in. The door's <laughs> locked. But you, the schematics are right. I have the blueprints, but the door is locked. I have the fucking okay. blueprints. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, co like, come on. Like, th think, think, think about it for like 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, that's and, pretty bad. <laughs> and, 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 and you, like, you have, you, like, here's the thing. You have to approach this from, if you're, if you're doing security, you have to pr approach this from, from the perspective of what if your opponent is a sufficiently motivated attacker who's willing to mm -hmm. spend six months waiting to get into your shit. Then you're fucked. Because how many people have you pissed off up to this point? Well, that's the reality. <laughs> well, right? uh, if you boil it down well, to somebody motivated enough, you're fucked. Period. Well, right, but you can still, you can, again, you can still take due diligence and make it harder for them, right? Hope the, that they your give Your only up. legitimate defense is to make it not worth their while. Exactly. Which is which is what that's about. Make make sure that they can't get sufficiently motivated. Not arguing that. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Let's get Chair to acquisition. It. Yeah. Acquisition full of chairs. As opposed to acquisition full of squids. That sounds delightful. <laughs> full of benches. Those aren't tentacles. Those are gentacles. Can't you tell? Look at the little eyeglasses. And top little monocles. Yeah. <laughs> They're little, little oh mustaches. My. <laughs> In two, 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 three, two, one. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep, crash, crash. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Neon, Debian. Then we can ask the question, is it fun? This week, we're taking a look at Derp 4. Uh, it's developed by Codemasters, ported to Linux by Feral Interactive, done on the Ego Engine. You can pick it up for about 24 US. It goes on sale quite a bit, though, so you can mm -hmm. probably get it for cheaper if you are a patient yep. boy. Uh, what is it? Dirt 4 is all about embracing fear. Man, I want to see a dirt survival horror game. I'm just Dude. saying. <laughs> it's the, about the thrill, exhilaration, and adrenaline that is absolutely vital to off-road racing. It's about loving the feeling of pushing flat out to a next sheer cliff drop, going for the gap that's too small and seeing how much air you can get. Be fearless. Uh, Pedro gave me a copy, and I think y'all got copies via Humble at some point or another. Yep. Something like yep. that. So exactly. no mandatory disclosure. We bought it ourselves, so you get the full real opinion like Ven Stone's full real opinion on Debian. Oh, dude. Uh, no longer running Debian. Stale. I'm running the testing. The new hot. Actually, there's a lot of new stuff in there. Still debugging that. But over here on Debian testing, it's a Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM with a 2060 displayed at the UK 4K. Yes, those things. 3840 by 2960. At, 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 at UK 4K? Is, is it drive on the right side of the road? fine. <laughs> Vulcan and all. You know, I did notice the occasional hiccup. Um, you know, a little bit of a frame dip every now and then. But then again, I was, when I say frame dip, I'm talking about like from 130 to 128, something like that. Playing on YOLO at uh, 1080p with a 2060, but I have a 2060 capeless edition. So it's only got the six gigajoules of RAM. Now, it does manage to hold in the upper 120s for the most part at 1080. Um, it made sounds. All the controllers worked. I tried it with the PS4, tried it with the X-Clone, didn't have a problem there. The music, I'm going to go ahead and take a nog on that because it's definitely a mixture between emo and like early 2000s soft edgelord. It's the best way I can think <laughs> <laughs> to describe it, I was like, "What's go what are you uh, trying wait, to elicit?" Queens the Stone Age. Wait, wait, wait! wait that's coming on. It's like, oh, all right. Game, <laughs> and it would never tell me. So, but you know, I've said it again, and I'm going to say it before, man. By the time you nerf dirt to the point where it comes playable with a controller, it's kind of boring. I mean, it just is. You know, I have a, this glass desk in front of me, so breaking out a wheel at a shifter, non-starter. It would be hilarious, but. A non-starter, nonetheless. So I'll keep this short and simple. If you don't at least have some type, it doesn't matter how cheap of a wheel, just a wheel, you're not going to find much in the way of fun with dirt. I do not believe my personal opinion. I'm not much one for, you know, just the rally racing, but 
I did attempt to mine just that little bit of joy from what you're seeing on the screen right now. It's the dirt buggy segment. I'm like, hey, man, I could probably have some fun with that. Nope. No, I was for a minute, but like right up there until in the last corner of the last lap. I'm like, yeah, you know, about now the AI should pop up. And it just did slammed in me and like, like right at this point, just crossed the line. Motherfucker. That's when I quit. It wasn't a rage quit, though. It really wasn't, man. You know, I like arcade racing games because I don't often get to drive rocket-powered future mobiles that excrete death-laced projectiles. Often. However, this sliding around on gravel road or dirt track, or not maybe not a track, but definitely a dirt road, and a turbo four-door is something I can basically do any day of the week. So, I want to say, well done, game. You know, this looks the business. It's the pretty. Feral, you did a good job. It has the Vulcans. It is performant. And unfortunately, it's just not my cup of chainsaw, baby. I tried to have fun with this and I couldn't. Also, Codemasters, motherfuckers, if you're going to make something online, like requirement to like do your scores, and shit, keep your service up more than a week at a time or a day or an hour at a time because that was a legitimate issue. Or lower that timeout, please. <laughs> Yeah, on uh, on Fedora 30 64-bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080Ti, it launches with the Feral Screaming Note. It's very pretty looking, like most derp games. I ran into a bit of a problem, though, because I don't like having VSync on because, you know, it's not particularly performant and having your screen, uh, your refresh rate capped is not fun for me in my 1080Ti. So I tried to turn it off, and then the game crashed, and then the game wouldn't launch. So I had to delete the config file, and I thought to myself, Hmm, maybe this was a one-time thing. Let me try one more time, two more times, four more times. No. So, yeah, I got, I got, I got 60 at UHD and 1080. 60. Yeah, sure. Um, So there's that. Controllers worked out of the box. I used the DualShock 4. I went around the track. It was fu fun. Is it fun? No. No, not, no. Wait, so we had, we had a wonderful talk last week about genre preferences in games and how some people like some games and other people don't. Uh, for me, rally racing and I don't mix too well. It's all well and fun to slide around and wrap around trees, but like only for about 20 minutes. I did the driving lessons, but based on that, I need to study more and probably stay the fuck off the road or off the road. I don't, I don't know. I need to just go back to my turn-based crack. That, that's, that's what I'm happy about. One chair. <laughs> Yeah, over here in uh, KDE Neon Land with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, uh, it does launch to the usual myriad FUD screens that Farrell has grown so fond of. Uh, V-Sync is a bag of lies, since it doesn't actually lock uh, the frame rate to the refresh rate of the monitor. I even lowered the graphics to the medium preset, just to be sure. I unlocked the frame rate and it was doing like 170 something, so it's like, yeah, that's fine. And then, um, I turned on V-Sync and it locked the FURPS to 63. 60 fucking three. The fuck did you get that number? In any case, I turned that off very quickly, uh, and everything looked a little bit too bright for me. Uh, maybe it's because of my TN panel. It does do 144 hertz, but it's only a TN panel. Wait, wait so, it's a TN uh, pa panel, so it's using the solar flare? No, dude, the Chao Tzu adapter. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> so, so it just explodes? <laughs> yep. Chaka ho! Uh, in any case, uh, but it's uh, it's... I had to lower the uh, the gamma down to like 0.80. That's what you're looking at right now. It's that's uh, gamma at 0.80. It's still a little bit too bright for me, but whatever. Uh, the Linux implementation of the multi-sample anti-aliasing is also not the best. Uh, Vin actually uh, brought this to my attention yesterday uh, after Meet the Freemans, which was like, yeah, if you play Proton, everything looks much better. It's like, huh, let me try that. Oh, shit, you're not kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah no, that and, shit got smooth, didn't it? It did, and the performance impact on Linux, if you turn on MSAA past uh, 2x, again, that's what you're looking at right now, um, past that, the performance tanks on Linux... On Proton, it just keeps running very, very smoothly. So that needs work. For the fun, well, I, I like racing games. I like racing games a lot. Um, uh, if I'd played Dirt 4 before I played Dirt Rally, um, I might have enjoyed it more. As it is, the driving feels very stilted. 
Um, even reducing like the hand holding uh, in the driving doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference, right? Up until you put it in no assists whatsoever mode, at which point it becomes completely impossible to play without an actual steering wheel plugged into your PC. Uh, in Dirt Rally, even if you were playing on the uh, Babby keyboard mode, the driving still felt pretty good, and it was pretty challenging, and you had to, instead of just holding down the button, you had to tap it at points. That, that, that was a very good way to do it. And the driving felt responsive. In this one, it feels like you have two uh, air cushions to the side of your car holding it in place. It's like, eh, let go. But the thing that really annoyed me about Dirt 4, and it's the same thing that annoyed me in Dirt 3 and Dirt Showdown, was a stupid voiceover. Seriously, are you required by contract in the non-rally Dirt games to have an annoying voiceover? Because that, 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 it doesn't sound good, it's stupid, and most of the time it's completely unnecessary. So keep the co-pilot in the rally tracks, that's fine. In the uh, dirt buggies, like you're watching right now, completely fucking unnecessary. Just get the fuck rid of it, or at least give me an option to turn it off. How's that? Two chairs. Good job, Pedro, you're doing great. Well, there you go. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you're going to make a left turn you and get the hell out of here. You uh, half a second in that lap. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> well, you know, in I, all I, fairness, I, one thing I'll say, if you just played on like the default difficulty level, like the first the first uh, circuit of, uh, you, you can just smash into walls and trees. And like, yeah, you crushed everyone. <laughs> Quit lying to me, game. <laughs> well, I mean, you physically crushed everyone with your car, right? Pretty like, much. That's, it's, it's, yeah. it's, like that, it's like that racing game we threw chairs at where you have to murder all the people. <laughs> See, if they had that in this game, I think it'd be a little more fun, right? <gasps> right. <laughs> all right. With those Come graphics? Oh, yes. <laughs> all right. So there you go. Coming up next, we talk about some Black Mesa co-op and why it catches fire so much. Because it ain't finished. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but you're finished. Hand in your gun and your badge, Mateus. Finish him. Mm. You're off the force. You're off the force. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Mm. It is one Communists of... detected on American soil. Let's see, lethal this force is one of my engaged. favorite things to like. No amusement is when people have like soprano voices, like Pedro, and try to do a deep voice. Like, everyone's strategy is like, I'm just going to talk like that. It's not deep, it just sounds silly. No, that's I mean, how um, we Liberty laugh. Prime speaks. <laughs> we laugh. Let me get you a video. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing. It's hard, it's hard to do a fake deep voice when you're sitting down, though. You need, you need, the, you need the room in your diaphragm. Really? I don't know. I, that's mm. what I find. Hmm. I, 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 Hold I, I, on, I, I, Ben was about to admit that he does a fake deep voice all the time. How do you even do a fake deep voice with... Like, how? How? I don't, I don't See, know. See, it sounds I, like I, that. Yeah, I, I usually... I don't know, I, you I, could like, go, like, reasonably I, I, low. Or like that. It I, 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 usually, I usually try to... I usually try to haul out my chest. I don't know. When I do impressions of people, I don't try to do the voice exactly, but I'll try, I'll try to get like the speech pattern. I think that's like usually the speech pattern, but I, I think like somebody you're just not able to, you, it's, I think most of it comes from just like chest size, you know, resonance. Yeah. 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 But yeah, like, uh, cause there, there's like that opera technique where you just like open up your diaphragm and you like make it, make a big <laughs> old corridor. Technique. Yeah, it is, it is an opera singing technique. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what I call it. When you do your fake voice? Nope. <laughs> what, do you, what 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 technique do you use when you use your fake voice? The foot long. The foot long. Yep. Is that? No, no, too dark, too dark. Nope. Eject, eject, eject. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR, man. I get those messages on YouTube. Have you ever considered doing like? Ew, no. Like, how much? Well, yeah, cause like I don't, I don't know if 
if, if you're of the opinion that 20 bucks is 20 bucks, right? <laughs> like, oh, dude, if you can have a, um, I, I don't judge, it's not hurting anybody. If you want to, people like, like microphones, go for it, man. I don't get it, but hey. Every, every, everyone's got their weird shit. That's just what it is. Yeah. Except for people who don't. Uh, I don't know. They, everyone, everyone's got their weird shit. That's what people into weird shit tell each other. <laughs> <laughs> helps them sleep at night. No, the weird shit has, helps me sleep at night. <laughs> You're not doing it right, then. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it super right. And if I'm doing it wrong, I don't want to be right. Liberty Prime? What's that? It's the yeah, thing that no, Pedro's that's... been quoting for like three hours. I don't know what that is. It's good, don't. <laughs> it's probably for the best. It's got the timestamp and everything. <laughs> okay. How does that help me? It doesn't. Good. It doesn't help you at all. All right. It provides no value Common whatsoever. Is detected on American soil. Lethal force engaged. Do you think we'll ever get a Red Sun movie? We did. Like, like movie, movie, not a cartoon. <laughs> Cartoons or movies? Oh, well, cartoon, semantics, car yes. Car cartoons can be movies. Sometimes cartoons can be shorts. Do you think we'll ever um, get a live action version of Red Sun? I think they're gonna fuck it up. They fucked up the animated version, completely missing the point. Um, oh, that's any comic a adaptation. There's gonna be one group going, "You fucked it up, Dufred." No matter what they well, do with it, period. No, nah, like no, I mean, like I watched it. It's not. It's not a good adaptation of Red Sun. Um. In, your I, I, in my yeah, of course. This is all opinion based. Exactly. We always like to make that clear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we my just tastes did are most facts. of a show about opinions. So yeah. <laughs> um. I, I I I don't know though, because like Americans don't typically handle showing like anything left of like far center right as positive as like. They, they 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 don't accept that. They just don't. So, and Superman Red Sun is a complex story about the failures of both capitalism and communism. It's so, for generalized three hundred and fifty million people, but fine. Yeah, broad strokes on that <laughs> political speech there. Don't Jordan. worry, Canadians have trouble. <laughs> um, broad narrowing. fucking strokes. <laughs> I, I mean, where's where's the lie? Where's the lie? You tell me. <laughs> where's your proof? <laughs> The uh, proof when making the claims, one. Jordan, yeah. y the onus of proof is on you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, sure. Let's let's let's, In my let's limited, go down. However, go down sheltered experience, hole. I shall. <laughs> I, 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 okay. So, I mean, look, just look. have some fun with it, man. Calm down. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. But the, 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 just, the, the fact that the fact that that sort of communism shit is a meme pr kind of kind of is a points it's in my a, corner it's there. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I just thought it was interesting because all of a sudden politics actually came into the discussion. That was different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm just saying Amer Americans don't like the commies. <laughs> They don't. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the stereotype. Again, broad strokes. <laughs> Pedro, I'm going to give you a reboot. Okay. And he died. He's been dead. Simulation. Quite advanced, mind you. An advanced simulation. Pedro bot. Not that advanced. It's just a Dell. Pedro. <laughs> that sounds like a hand sanitizer. Ah, oh, dirty one. I would I wouldn't use it. Thunder. 
Thanks, Gnome Keyring. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you're not you're not using Jitsi through the Steam browser, I guess. <laughs> I wonder how well that actually works. I'm not that brave. I mean, it's Chrome, right? So like, it's Chromium. Yeah. So can't be that bad. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even catch the start of that, and I know <laughs> that's a bold claim. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know. Have you tried using Jitsi over the uh, big picture mode browser? Like, like I was saying, it's 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 Chrome, so like, should work. Pause. It is. Yeah, it is the uh, Chromium embedded framework, and they keep relatively up to date. With the, I mean, um, I, I mean, so Jitsi works with the um, with the OBS browser plugin. Yes. Mm. Mm. And it also works with uh, Firefox on Android. Not very well, but it does. <laughs> it also has its own app on Android too. Yeah. Yeah, I've used that for testing. It sure does. It's like, is there an easier way to do this? No, there's not. <laughs> no. So we got one more second to roll out. And we'll see if this thing's going to behave. Then we're going to try some weird stuff. Is it weird butt stuff? Nope. Don't get your hopes ah! up. I know, every time. Ah! I was worried. <laughs> I was that hoping. That 50-gallon drum of lube, it's running a bit low. <laughs> That's because you use too much lube. <laughs> I bathe in it. Shut up. Who's got drums? <laughs> Get that on tap. Hot and cold running. Hot. hot oh, hot lube. Mm. Ow. Ow. It smells, baby. Mm. It smells Luke like... Why warm. does it smell... <laughs> no, dude. Hot, hot lube. Why does it smell like bacon in here? <laughs> Because you didn't specify organic or synthetic. <laughs> Water base, meat base, same thing. Lube's lube. You guys ready to put a bow in this? Yeah, always. <laughs> So that needs to be there. That needs to be there. All right, let's do it, people. In three, two. It's late, or it's early. I don't know your life. You do what you want. But Wait, what do you call like late like... and early? Brunch, like afternoon. When when is brunch? Yeah. I think it's between breakfast and lunch. When is breakfast? Um, yes. But hey, when it, if when you'd is like lunch? to tell us when your breakfast is, you can do so by going to linuxgamecast.com. You hit the contact button, you fill out the form, make sure uh, LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to, and it will be featured right here, right now. Feel free to send disparaging remarks about our mothers, if that is what you please but if not well maybe you can do like the developer of the black mesa co-op uh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Why, why would the developer of the black mesa co-op be contacting us that, that that doesn't that doesn't track it may have something to do with the video that we did last week that was uh yourself myself uh, foxy and uh kylytics okay uh the four of us were playing around with the uh, co-op mod for Black Mesa, and apparently was janky, just janky enough for the developer to go, you're on the Steam page now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. So that, that happened. Uh, did you, dude? <laughs> wrote in. He's like, yo, I because we might have had some complaints. Because in, in order to play this, we have to use Proton. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, all right, fair enough. Uh, he's like, I don't know why the coop maps don't show in Linux. 
Maybe putting everything in lowercase will fix the problem? Question mark, period. Hmm. That's a punctuation. Hardcore. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> um, I will see what I can do for the next update. So. Cool beans. <laughs> I, I mean, got, I mean, we got to give props to the got, for the fact that like the dude's willing to give something a try, other and not be like, "Well, you guys are playing on Linux, so that's your problem." Ugh. Well, that that's what the <laughs> hi Gary, the, how are you? <laughs> especially when it comes to mods, though. That was like I think yeah. it was the first thing I said. Like, what what's the problem? Can't load the map? Yeah, probably the wrong case. Then, mm, it needs some work too. Um, hopefully, we've been of help identifying some of the bugs. What do you think the bugs are? Do you think it's just that's in the game, or do you think we've amplified things using Proton? Uh, I think most of that is the mod itself, because we've seen what Proton can do. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, Proton is just as performant as it is on Windows, maybe like 10% less. Well, it's not the performance but, so much. I'm kind of feeling like... No, it isn't. It's whammy. the network it, code. Yeah, mm. the, 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 the implementation and like the mapping of the Windows syscalls on the Linux syscalls. Sometimes there's some massaging that needs to occur with the data. <laughs> The just but like yeah, the most of the jank, fuckery. Yeah, most of the jank seems to come from either the network implementation or how the mod was made because the physics aren't there. It, 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 like the things that you need to grab, like the um, little turny bits for the valves or the the pumps. <laughs> But it was kind of fun getting near a valve or the turny pump thing and watching it fly across the room out the door. Yep. <laughs> That's one way it, to do it. It, it. It's planet needed it, right? It needed <laughs> to go. My people need me. That, that kind of happened. But that was after the elevators killed us, though. <laughs> yeah, the elevators uh, killing... Although that's not the first Source game that I've seen that does that you because might expect, there are a bunch you know, of them <laughs> being being like a normal source game the ladders would kill you but hey this one has surprises <laughs> in store for you because like each different layer has different physics applied to it and if you're standing too close to the wall you might clip into one that's like just like one or two pixels off and it goes possibly or the I, elevator I, just might straight up murder your ass for no reason <laughs> I've seen this M. Night Shyamalan movie, though. You just got to find out which old lady in the elevator is actually the devil and kill her, and then you can use the elevator. I remember laughing in the theater when that trailer rolled, and we're like, what? Real? That's real? And, yeah, um, like someone farted in the <laughs> elevator, and we got to find out who. It's like directed by M. Night, and everyone just started laughing. That was at the um, tip. But hey, man, thank you for taking a look at that. Keep up the work. Um, it there, There's a lot fewer to play than i think we were kind of expecting but that's our own fault and you know some of the it's, transitions it's a pretty recent mod too like yeah yeah well i mean it's been out for you know well into like halfway through 2019 so it's, it's been out for a minute but further maps uh we're looking forward to it mm -hmm. and we showed off in our recent video that you kind of have to hack your way through a couple of areas at this point, so... Yeah, it, it yeah. seems like those last few levels that we got into, uh, Blast Pit is the chapter we're For talking about. For lack of a better explanation, just <laughs> didn't fucking work. But... Yeah. Hey, then, then we ended up on Zen, then shit got real, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, Ven actually saw the uh, final cutscene starting. It, 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 it's like, <laughs> uh, we're not supposed to be here. This was after we ended up like in the middle of a particle accelerator. I believe. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, isn't that just the start of the game? I don't know, man. I was afraid to ask questions at that part, but we made it out. And speaking of getting out of here, we get up. Dying of fire, beautiful people, because on that bombshell, that's the beautiful music. You can always find us around. 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time, where this nightmare train pulls off the track. We invite you to join us. Watch us after the fact. We even have a YouTube channel. But most importantly, we got those MP3s. Nom, nom, nom. They're brilliant. If you want to get a hold of me, you know where. Just at Vin Stone on Twitter or um, at Vin at mast.linuxemcast.com, where I'm doing that thing called social media-ing. I'm Jordan Spung. I'm on Twitter, launching my tweets and accelerating them to close to the speed of light so that they can collide with other tweets and annihilate it themselves. It's almost as if I'm not there at all. You can follow that on The Burning Fool, or at The Burning Fool, or on Mastodon at mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm at Virgin.
Drink, and drink, if you'd like drink, to, drink. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, if you'd like Lucky to continue um, fueling my ego for some reason you on ego? Twi uh, Twitter, yes. Twitch? I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know. Just uh, roll with it. But, Twitch yeah, tube. Uh, at unaccounted four. That's, That's why we have uh, hot and unaccounted cold running room. F-O-U-R, room. because someone already had the number four. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man, I thought for a minute they were going to let you, us you, 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 hold, hold on, you, 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 could, you could do like F-O-U-R apostrophe R-E? I could, but I could also rule the credits oh. to thank the beautiful people that make this possible. <laughs> I don't think you could have apostrophes in uh, Twitter. Not with that attitude. Nope. <laughs> Not the actual username anyway. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Oh my god, Star Wars. Let's not talk about Star Wars. We gotta talk about the Patreons, though. We gotta talk Can about we talk our about advisors. The un unaccounted force. Haplo! Yeah, they, they, yes. Oh Haplo. Uh, we got our executive producers that also has Haplo in it, like our Theron, Mr. Fox Dog, Empty, The Atomic Ass, Mickle G, Bob Ramt, Aldeas, Mac Geek, Scott, Frostclaw, Tremor. Haplo's gone! Yay! Um, we gotta pick our, our producers uh, David S., Max G., Michael, Egal, Jolly, Topical, Gaia, Spatu, Max, Yabo, Stonyfish, Chris, Che, Mr. Alert, Michael N., Brad S., Massimony, Dan W., Dubbin, Nuke, W., Matt C., Mike W., Christopher Breathe, C., Fresno, Alvius, <laughs> Colsta, Dirty D., Nova King, Crazen, the Targos, Crazen, Jack, Todd, Whitaker, Bl 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 Okay, I give up. We got Nova King. We need Nova Hoven, King. Hoven. Christian <laughs> and Corey. Lutris, <laughs> Kim, Quit trying to read. Belric, you've had too much to drink. Brock, Edmund. Christian, Corey. I don't even need <laughs> Thank you. Words. Y y every <laughs> single one of you. Mm. Also thank our fuck buddies on the fuck wall, <laughs> like John and Mike G again, and our Theron and Basil, Basil and Carl. And and Lennox, you are awesome. Mm. No, I, do, I mean that. Like, I won't tell anyone. But Arthur you are. And you'll, you'll, you'll deny it in public. <laughs> Have some more credits because I hit the wrong button. That more <laughs> credits! <laughs> Double complete credits. It's like, no, it's like Ghost and Goblins. Now you actually have to go through the podcast again to get the actual ending. Ghost and Goblins. <laughs> Ghost and Goblins, man. Like I'm on the NES. Oh, it's like near. You have to play the game like three times to see what the hell happens. Three? What did you play it on easy mode? Yeah, I think there's like what? <laughs> Nine, eight ending, like... At least three times to get the complete picture. But the endings, that's a completely different story. Dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, which route? I'm like, uh... Yes. <laughs> a through Z, I believe, are the endings in here. <laughs> We're not even making that up. There's the joke ending that is uh, adequately um, branded as the U ending. That you go to the space station and you trigger the self-destruct. There's an ending. <laughs> That's not going to be the show title, so you guys might want to vote on something a little shorter. <laughs> but my bottom, my <laughs> sensitive little bottom. <laughs> Short and <laughs> sensitive little bottom. <laughs> it's so sensitive. There's, I mean, Clappy title. Dude would work. All right, I'll give that one uh, volcanic update for you. I'll, I'll give four a vote. That one's, I like that one. That's going to hurt some people. <laughs> oh, no, it's F-R-U-R-E apostrophe R-E. <laughs> Underscore squiggly T. For -E. <laughs> you can only type it in a mirror. <laughs> <clears throat> If you read it backwards, you summon a demon from yeah, the It's like of reading Dovahkiin shit, man. You get a shout. <laughs> it, 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 it's like, it's like, uh... It's like... <laughs> they hear, where's your god now? Grandma nuts. Right. Yeah. You know, you know what's always fun is just drop that in an email and see if anyone notices. <laughs> oh, they all Oh, that's notice. how you spell it. <laughs> that's just how you find out whether or not your friends either get your sense of humor or whether or not you got somebody who's like, I'm not touching that. They're scared, scared of you a little bit. Because <laughs> if it's just a regular co-worker, they'd be like, Motherfucker, what is this? Hmm. We have arrived at the end. <laughs> was it as good for you anyway. as it was for me? Because it was pretty bad for me. <laughs> yeah, but that's a daily experience for me. How can you tell, you know, column A from column A? 
I mean, if there's a little bit of a tingle, I'll call it good. I'm just yeah. numb. Is that why you buy the um, $80 console games for the tingle? Like, ah. Pretty much. So I can feel. I can feel something. <laughs> that thing is pain. I've become How are so Switch, are, are Switch games digital? Yeah. Yeah, you can just download them. Oh, do they not even bother like giving you like a token, like SD card or something like that? Well, I mean, like I like I the thing just takes an SD card, right? So I just crammed like a 200 gig SD card in there. Mm -hmm. I, 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 they they do sell the physical copies of the game, and I do like that they're coded in like this embitterant so that children don't eat them. Yeah. Um. So they're extra tasty, is what you're saying. I'm sure but, like, but like <laughs> here, here, here's here's the deal, right? It's like. I don't want. I hate dealing with these little carts because I lose them. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather just have like a digital copy, right? But there's collectors, man. I mean, some some people like to hoard stuff. Mm -hmm. I like to hoard books. I mean, these are these are the books I have at my table right now. Have you read any of them? Yeah, I've read. I've actually read all these cover to cover. Hmm. I have a book. The occasional game I will want to buy the uh, physical version. Uh, I told Beam Dog specifically, it's like I wouldn't be terribly happy if you release the Linux version of Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition in a physical version, because I'd be buying the game for the fifth time. You never get a response totally because they're it. still laughing at that. Yeah. <laughs> on, on, honestly, like. The, the the revelation that like once once I had a credit card I could just buy a game on Steam. Mm -hmm. It's like great. I don't have to. I have a binder full of CDs. Who remember having like the library of like CD books? Mm -hmm. Like, see, I straight up like uh, I know I probably threw away like internet history type shit that I had just had archived on blank disk and I just tossed them. I'm like boom, gone. Yeah, because I don't have a. I mean, I, there was a DVD drive in one of my sunboxes, like an Ultra 5. That's it. And it's ATA, too. Yeah, the only, the only like, spinny disk drive I have, like, the CD drive, is, like, so, it was for an IBM ThinkPad. I popped it out, and I bought, like, a hard drive caddy so I could have two hard drives in there. Because, mm -hmm. like, why do I need a CD-ROM space? I would just rather put another SSD in there right. and then have more space. So. See, I thought he could dig one out quicker than this. I'm a little disappointed. No, he's just it used to deck. be a bit further out. It's not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know that's the thing that happens with age, Pedro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gravity always wins, baby. I guess I moved it. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a minute been relocated dude I, I just imagine you have like a drive dungeon at this point it was here somewhere what are you digging through this this would help me drawers okay why do you have pants on the floor why do I have the what pants See, ladies and gentlemen, the joke was he was digging through drawers. <laughs> oh, draw right. I didn't say it was a good joke. I said the joke was. <laughs> Fine. <That's>, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this is a critical part of Pedro infrastructure. Um, I had it here somewhere. Maybe Nori took it. I'm starting to suspect that she might, yes. <laughs> Gave it a forever home. Like in the bin, outside. Okay, it's not the only uh, <sighs> optical media drive left in this place, but it it's damn near close. <laughs> <laughs> and how far of a, le how less of a place would your home be without optical drives? It comes in yeah. handy in the most strange of situations, and it's really helpful to have it. You know, they're not bad coasters, I'll give it that. Uh, hmm. I think it's a hole in the middle. 
I mean, like, most glasses also don't have a hole in the middle. <laughs> Maybe Canadian glasses. They, they, have the, they have the hole on the one side, but not on the side that rests on the coaster. Glass Aha. holes. <laughs> yeah, you bunch of glass holes. <laughs> and it's full. <laughs> fucker. <laughs> I'm surprised it doesn't have any, like, RGB on it. It's blue. It's blue, it's DVD RW, uh, it supports DVD minus and DVD plus. What's the difference and... between DVD minus and DVD plus? I don't remember. There were different standards. <laughs> I'm not sta- uh, God damn it. It's, it's, Here, it's, it's Google. Like Give me like Google. It's like DVI plus and DVI minus and, like, the different pins. Yeah. But yeah, no, just the single USB mini type B and the way we go. Okay, hang on. <laughs> so, all right, I have the answer. Um, what are our guesses? When is read only? Again, is I don't only? remember. <laughs> I will say, I'll throw the guess in. It's dumber than you think. Um... This is definitely why I think any drive could be made to do both with a firmware update. <laughs> Probably. Interesting. <laughs> All right. So, like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I have, like, a bunch of, like, half stupid ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in the actual answer. This will... Hang on. You're going to write DVD. Okay. The difference between a DVD minus R and a plus R, the only difference between the formats is the way they determine... The location of the laser beam on the disc. Uh, as so, like the middle versus the outer edge, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Hyper DVD. Ah, uh, the DVD era was developed by Pioneer and released in second half of 1990 plus was developed by Sodium Phillips 2002, da da da, Hewlett Packard, you fuck yourself, and uh, minus R. Did they have like a plus minus R negative? Plus? Hmm. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Yeah, my first one didn't. I remember the first affordable ATA two-speed burner. And I, I mean affordable, too, like jaw-drop floor when I saw it. It was like 170, 172 pounds. It's like, what? I just bought it on this the spot. This one cost 30 back in the day. 30 years. Yeah, this was in 1997, <laughs> maybe? Uh -huh. It's like, it's too far off. You can't really see it uh, the other way. I'll be honest with you, it, even at that time, I wouldn't have bought it if it was that blue. I'm like, nope. Mm. It's um, a DVD multi-recorder and uh, RW DVD plus R dual layer. This, this had a beautiful RW feature that you could use RW disc and they would mm -hmm. read in precisely fuck and all because they, didn't, <laughs> they were not reflective enough. This was Gen 1, baby. Mm -hmm. You could read it in that drive. Maybe if your friend had an RW writer or just a burner, maybe. I had an external uh, DVD RW, um, not DVD, CD RW from mm. way back then, mm -hmm. uh, made by HP. It was white and blue. And you could smell the CDs being burned. Mm. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> first person who noticed it was actually my mom. Uh, she walked into my room and was like, What's burning? It's like, I'm recording a CD. She came... Oh wow, that stinks! <laughs> what type of bootleg Portuguese CDs did you have, man? <laughs> it was mostly people would lend me games for me to play. Steel. yeah. <laughs> well, it's not really theft. And I'd play, play them and then keep uh, myself a copy. <laughs> I was surprised I never bought. I always said I was just going to. Of course, the um, disc backup for the uh, Mega Drive. Never bought one. 
I, I think I was just too into computers at the time. I'd given up on consoles by the time those were like, reasonable. <laughs> I never had uh, any of the fancy console stuff. The only console that uh, I ever did anything with was the PS2. Mm -hmm. And dude is like, uh, yeah, I have the necessary mod chips to mod your PS2. Would you like me to do it? It's like, <laughs> please, now. Why not? <laughs> and yeah, uh, it, my PS2 was one of the Aqua versions, which didn't even support like the backwards compatibility stuff. But with that mod chip, it did. Have you done I needed something to, to your system? You've been a little extra skippy tonight. No? Okay. Skippy how? Getting like a little every now and then from me. I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. I, I, I didn't change anything. I've been keeping up with the updates unless it was one of those. Mm. I don't know. Could just be something weird. Mm. Do, 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 do. Um, well, then you need to sell that on eBay, Michael, because I, that's exceptionally rare. Yeah. <laughs> My PS2, uh, it didn't have, like, the backwards compatibility hardware until it got the mod chip, and then it, you could play, um, like, PS1 games, but you needed to have a PS1 memory stick card thingy. Oh, that'll In the take. slot. Yeah. <laughs> In order to save the games. <laughs> Where did I open the patch bay? I do not need patch bay open. What I need open is messages. Not a one. Yeah, it's on your end. <laughs> and it was because of the PS2 that uh, my fondness for the Dual Shocks started. It's like, ooh! I can actually reach all of the buttons with my right hand. Huh. <laughs> Very good job there, Sony. Very good. See, there is no X runs. So you got something, maybe like a little buffer underrun or overrun on your end somewhere. Um, did that only start happening tonight? Now? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been going on all night. I just hadn't had a second to track everything down. I'm like, ah, okay. Right. <laughs> I don't blinkantly blame. <laughs> <laughs> Until I have some evidence. And I'm not getting any issues from Laddish. Nope, session manager is good. Soft mod. Yeah, soft mods are fine, but I mean, just like cracking open a PS1 and oh. uploading some. What? Buffer overrun event for slot 1, EP8. <laughs> Despite what Pedro thought, I was not, in fact, just fucking with him. No, clearly not. XHCIHCD. What are you? It's called KDE. <laughs> It 
was about this time old Mateus decided that... I don't know. What are you going to do? Trying to get Google to uh, give me an accurate result. Oh, um... <laughs> What's Googs got to say? There's a bunch of bug reports about it. And... It's not just Katie. Not just... <laughs> it's like, I found one that wasn't. No, not one. There's a Post bunch the of Discord Fedora. So I can look at it with my eyeballs. There's a bunch of Fedora um, bug reports from... Um, just the default gnome one. Gnome bug reports? Yeah, Pedro got clicky. He's been clicky. Uh, well, apparently there's clickiness happening with me. Oh, have you disabled your wireless drivers? Have you? No. <laughs> done. There we go. Problem solved, ladies and gentlemen. That'll do it 100% of the time. Just RM mod, IWL, Wi-Fi, or whatever? Just kill all wireless drivers, period, if you're doing any of this. Especially with Jack. That is like, people went, what? That was it? And I'm like, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I guess, I guess Wi-Fi requires a lot of interrupts. Like, I guess Bluetooth also as well. Yeah. Makes sense, especially if you're doing like preempt or like real time stuff. Yeah, I can I can, I can see that causing. Well, especially if you're running a generic kernel too, because you don't have preempt. Mm. I mean, even if you request real time permissions, kernel tells you to go fuck yourself. It's like I gotta get this data packet, as opposed to this other data packet. I realized what I just said. <laughs> I thought it was a gravy packet. Hmm. You know they do make those. They do, yeah, like the, the instant mixed gravies, yeah. But they also make like large container sizes of gravy, powdered gravy. Like yeah, yeah, with the, with, the, with, with, the, with the scoop. Yeah. Like, you really have to be deep into a gravy addiction to. Like, that's a lot of gravy. I mean, I mean, I don't think it goes bad, so. One would hope. So but, like yeah, you, maybe, maybe it's just like man, this was on sale for like six bucks, and this will be like all the gravy I will literally ever eat in my life. See, where I'm assuming that there's there's gravy preppers. Oh, there probably there probably are like hardcore poutine fiends. No food, like freeze, no water, free, no freezers no, no full no of like power. cheese curds, yeah, potatoes, yeah. and gravy, powdered gravy. That's it. They're 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 ready. When the apocalypse comes, they will have literally all the poutine ever. You can trade that for nothing, really. But I, don't know. I mean, it's it's food. It's edible food. <laughs> it's Canadian currency. I mean, I won't, I won't say no to poutine. I don't think you <laughs> legally can. Oh, you 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 can, but only after your third helping. <laughs> So what are we going to do? We're going to roll out some uh, Left for Bread? Maybe. What else do we got? I don't know. I'm open to ideas. We got, uh, we got to uh, midnight, so. Uh, is there another know. Steam window open that's stopping me from doing a thing? Probably. I'll get something uh, to drink. Self-updater? Yeah, that'd, that'd do it. Oh, let's see. Let's see if it fixes that uh, double tap. It does not. Oh wait, that, there it goes. Does it? Ah! Spoke too soon. Uh. Hands off. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it. No, it's not looking like it's firing up. Connecting to Steam accounts. Yeah, it didn't, fi didn't fix it. Uh, Truggy, why are you sending me messages over Steam? 
Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, this this bears repeating ad infinitum because like people don't learn. Don't message me on Steam. I'm not gonna see it until like four hours later. If you're messaging me in the middle of a game, it's not like I'm gonna stop and talk to you because I'm busy, right? It's handy for, like, invites, but... I don't know. Uh, Xenoraptor. Right, no, that doesn't have to do with, like, actual raptors. Uh, what else is there? Tricky Towers? <laughs> it's so tricky. Your brain just expects it to play by Tetris rules, but it doesn't play by Tetris rules. Ultimate Chicken Horse get an update? A uh, couple of weeks ago. Payday? Question mark? Oh, I guess God. I have... I guess I have that <laughs> installed. Uh, Do you have the original Star Wars Battlefront? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's Proton. Not not the one that came out a couple years ago, but like the one from 2005. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think so. Not on Steam, anyway. No. Uh, I mean, you know, you know, it's straight, like, legit, it was a good game, and it run, it's, uh, it's on the whitelist on Proton, so... I played I um, a totally legit uh, borrowed copy, you guys, uh, with just classmates and friends in university. It was like one of the games that we used to get into our equivalent of LAN parties, which was we literally, when we didn't have classes, we'd go into university anyway. We'd go into like the um, little bar area and we'd just mooch off the Wi Fi and play with each other. And then we'd play some video games. Oh, uh, we used to, in high school, we used to just, like set up ad hoc wireless lens and hollow hop <laughs> yeah. into like a serious <laughs> Sam game. I remember we were doing it in a study cl prep class. And, like, teachers didn't realize you could just alt-tab out of stuff. Yep. <laughs> Man, the grade 10 literacy test. Have, did, <laughs> did you make it to grade 10? Can you actually read? Let's find <laughs> out. Uh, Mountain Blade. Have we ever tried that? I don't think so. <laughs> How is... There's a the Linux mm. version. They made one. Yes. <laughs> it, well, and the, the game is kind of supposed to be janky too, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, my question uh. was going to be, how is the... Um, oh, shit. We should multiplayer do some team on that? Dude, we should do some team. We need. We need to do some Team Fortress Classic. The OG, well, second G, because the yes. OG was a Quake <laughs> mod that these guys bought and then converted to their own engine, which was also just the Quake engine. <laughs> what are you talking about? The Gold SRC was not the Quake engine. <laughs> Gold SRC is totally the Quake engine. <laughs> Or Quake, Quake 2 engine, but, yeah. <sighs> um, yeah, like, Ricochet, dude. Ricochet. I think I played a whole of, um, one match against bots in Ricochet. After it came out on Linux. <laughs> dude. Dude, Ricochet was my jam. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you want to do some, like, Team Fortress Classic? Like, the original? Um, next week. Because, like, there's, there's, there's a ton of, like, the old Gold Source games that, like, work, like, 
uh, Deathmatch Classic and Team Fortress Classic and Ricochet. Yeah, a lot and... of that shit I'm not going to fire up for the first time on a live stream. <laughs> All right. But yeah, like if... Uh... Or like Day of Defeat or something, yeah. We can do that next week. Just give me some forewarning. What else is there? I'm I'm just I'm just looking through the list of shit I have that has multiplayer. Let's see. Uh, we could we could all get start getting into Dota. <laughs> I, mean, I we think we're gonna it. close out with a little bit of Jackbox Party Pack Four. All right. Cool. Have ourselves a little jack off. Mm hmm. We will kick into the after shows. Ah, look at all that warning I gave everyone. Ah. <laughs> Scooch. Aha! <laughs> oh, let's do a depression quest. Let's play. What's that? Uh, it's a gay, it's a, it's a visual novel about being depressed. Is it a it's, visual novel or is it a text adventure? <laughs> text adventure, visual novel. The point, yeah. the point is I, I played it. It's like, yeah, that's kind of depressing, which I suppose is the point of the game. Close. That doesn't sound fun. I don't know. Sometimes you just want to feel sad. I mean, every time I push a button, it's depressing. <laughs> every time <laughs> I hear your voice, it's depressing. Spoon, here we are. Ouch. Yay, Jackbox. Thing. Jackie Box. <laughs> Jackie Box. It's your boy Jackie Box here, and I've got a special for you. What's in the box? You don't know, but I know Jackie Box won't tell you. You gotta stick your hand in there. Find out for yourself. I wonder if they ever had this. Uh, Jackie okay. Box sounds a little scary. <laughs> What's the. Um... Jackie Box is a perfectly legitimate businessman. Like, out of curiosity, I wonder if they had, like, um, the, like, circus scene in Canada? Like, if you had, like, Canadian like carnival barkers? <laughs> Roberto <I'm>... Cardivale. <laughs> so, like, Cir Cirque du Soleil is Canadian, but that doesn't that doesn't really count as a circus, does no, it? No, not really. No one, mm. no, like, yeah, that, that's like, you go to see that, like, you would go it see the Blue be. Man group. But... So, 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 like, the it's only ballet. circus, the only circus I've been to was in Florida. Mm. So I don't know if they exist in Canada. I've seen the Lennon Brothers and what was the other big one? The one of the traveling circuses. Ah, oh, God, I can't remember. Oof. But okay, yeah. So let's move that. <laughs> yeah, that's loud. <laughs> I've seen Is it Barnum as loud as the circus? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Here, here, here's the, here's the question for you. Mm -hmm. Cirque du Soleil for me. Does anyone here legitimately like clowns? Like, unironically, non-sexually, like, <clears throat> you just think clowns are funny? I don't have I an opinion them. on clowns. <laughs> yeah. But somebody I'm dressed very up ambivalent. with a nose on. I'm like, okay. I've never Halloween seen costume. one in real life, so. It means oh, wow. literally <laughs> nothing to me. I'm like, okay. I, I work with two of them. Yeah. Wow. Too, I'm in Let's go back to your talking about sexual clowns, though. No, I'm just like, I, I know you work at home alone by yourself, so I have questions. Um, how does that work out? Like, which one's the dominant personality? <laughs> it's a constant struggle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know you know you know what they say like there's that old native dude who's like in every man there are three clowns fighting inside you no. and the one that survives is the one you feed must what was that do like from like ontario or some shit no he's from manitoba uh that did explain a lot it's very cold there yeah i don't i don't mind clowns as long as they don't they don't put on the, the face and mask but, I've seen but that's not that's a clown. what the that's, a that's what the clowns do. That's their job. I know, I know. But I've seen I've, <laughs> I've seen some performances without. I've I've, mask. I've I've seen like this clown that like cut off his face and wore that as a mask. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. His, his name was the Joker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Jill, are you talking about someone like Red Skelton? Yeah. Because that's a if, comedian. If you are, then yeah. you're dating yourself. Yes. <laughs> That's, was Red but Skelton he, a clown? He, he, he yeah, did from play the Clown McClown. 
No, he was a <laughs> stand-up comedian. <laughs> man. Were clown. Yeah, like or like a or a, what like a vaudeville or something. But, yeah, he oh. was more vaudeville. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, that's if right. it was vaudeville, it'd be great for YouTube. Hmm. So yep. Jill has calorophobia. All right, uh, let me just make a note of that. Yep. <laughs> you, you, you know we need we need like we need like the the online equivalent of the giant cane that you just like scoop people off the stage with. That needs to come back. <laughs> <laughs> but like make it a man catcher so it's like a garrote <laughs> that just like choke the dude with. Like, right. Bah. He's like he was like and he's still like trying to play the piano and he's like. Bah. Oh, that'll be good. All right. I got a half chub from that. So, if you want uh, to play, you can head over to jackbox.tv and punch in them digits. I love going to Hawaii and having luai. Luai? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me in. There we go. Info. Yay! What about luai? Right. Have you, have you, have you ever Lu been to an old-fashioned Luai? <laughs> Luai. No. Lua is a fun language. Lua, Lua. No, it's not. Lua. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> ask anyone who Jordan. <laughs> ask anyone who writes Lua code. It's like, do you actually like Lua? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's like the one guy in your office who like picked the Lua solution and then he quit. Uh. They're like, I don't want to learn Lua to fix this problem. All right. There's no rules people... except the one rule, and you know it. No pandering. <laughs> don't yeah, violate pandering. it. But it'll be the you first pander, and last you game. You pander. Three, <laughs> two, one. All right. We've got big Panda, fun waiting to be well. unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's I don't need your instructions, I'll figure them out. Because I have a hat. Of our first <laughs> Michael, your <laughs> audio is blown the fuck out. Oh. <laughs> you're welcome. Gift card to be given on your birthday. Enter Whoa. your answers now. Type in the huh. best, most winningest answer you can think of and hit send. Oh, if your answer wins I'm the thinking. entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. Oh, oh, By the oh, way, oh, you oh, can oh, join oh, the oh, audience oh, and play along oh, by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room mm. code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Time's running out. There we go. That's all right. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to step up to the prediction table. Production. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. Oh, if you can that one's right. better. That one's better. I got my money down. <laughs> yeah, I have to vote against myself on that one. <laughs> yeah. That... The predictions are in. All right. It's time to dive into our first bracket. Bitter rivals collide. Use your device to vote on which That's easy. Come on. Yeah. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. I'm not sure they know what a gift card is. You don't know what a gift card is? I'm not sure the person who wrote the loved one does. Big win, daddy likes. <laughs> Big win, daddy likes. I read it as like greeting card, <laughs> but it's a gift card. No, right? no, somebody ever walks up to me and they're like, "Big win, Daddy likes run." I mean, fuck yeah. off, get out, <laughs> go. Our next matchup. I don't have a car, so. Well. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, mind one, as long as it covered like yeah. synthetics. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, if, if you had, if you had a car, a hundred percent, right? Like that'd be great. Gift card. Hey. Oh, it's going back and forth. I did not see that coming. <laughs> so it it imports Neither tangos. Neither did Kennedy game. <laughs> this is a pretty weak Let's round, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> Best on. Former teammates, will these two answers be able to stay focused on the matchup? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
I'm genuinely like no sense. Really? Why the blank oh, stuff? It's really coming handy. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one was mine, and I, I thought the other one was better. Oh, <laughs> everyone got this one wrong. I've been against ah. myself. <laughs> you lost. Oh, man, I thought uh, it said Slams Club. I mean, actually, actually, I don't know. Both of those are useful, right? Dinner for two is, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, if you give me a hundred bucks for Sam's Club, like, I don't know. That's like a flat of toilet paper or something. I don't know. Like, I could adult in there for a minute. Not if you're single. Yeah. Hundred bucks worth of groceries? Yeah, fuck yeah. The tie right. has been broken. I'm going to miss the tie times. Oh, God. The Tide Times. The Tide Times is when we're eating Thai food. <laughs> tide. Sko! <laughs> Get out of here, Sko. We have no Xenix here. Set operation in the house. <laughs> to make another prediction. Oh, God. All right. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the uh, one you think is going to okay. win. All right. I can throw this one. Is there like a like legitimate like casino multiplayer game and like blackjack? Let's jump back to our bracket. Oh, no, I'm oh yeah, probably like it's probably browser based, <laughs> but. Mm. <laughs> no, I want something I with Vulcan. His, uh... I mean, web it's, a it's a restaurant, Italian. Not it's really. not Italian. It's not Italian food. It, it's it, one it, of the it, Italian. It barely it's qualifies as food. <laughs> but what else can you get in a It's just a soup? freaking restaurant. Yeah, if, if, just if, 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 listen, a generic yeah, freaking restaurant. <laughs> if your goal is just to eat a bunch of salad and bread, it's okay, but like. If you like shit with basil on it, go there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weak ass category, man. Yeah. This, this, oh, this, yeah. This, is, this is just a weak, yeah. like, showing. That gave me goosebumps. <laughs> that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> that gave me poop bumps. I figured it would win even though it's not a win. gift card. What is the most disappointing gift card to be given on your birthday? I'm gonna say I any because with the exception, I believe, of a Best Buy that I found years after the fact, they just expire. I never used them. Yeah, yeah I've never used them at all. Yeah, they... In Canada, they're not allowed to anymore. anymore. Yeah. In California, they're not allowed to expire. Is that an actual yeah. thing? Yes, it's a yeah, law. Yeah, yeah, they, it's they, a law. yeah, they used to, they used to expire, and they're like, wait a second, yeah. you're just exchanging money for money that can expire. That's insane. Let's see those scores. Uh, I bought a gift card in Hawaii, and Hawaii didn't have the law set up. So when I came back home to use the gift card, I had found that the card expired. It's time for the blind bracket. Uh, we start. I have a story done by gift cards. <laughs> Name any animal. Oh, Annie, that's not what my brain read. Um, the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real right, title after it. you answer. Uh, Foxy, that was about as fast as I was, so. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. take a guess. Time's <laughs> <out. laughs> oh, fuck all seals. I got this. I got oh, this one. Okay. Come on, Joe. No pandering. Yeah, uh, someone used the one I had. Really about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Animal, it would probably uh. be coolest to have a conversation with. Time to get in those predictions. No. <laughs> hmm. What the hell is that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good question. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do. You you get a winning streak ahead of you. The predictions are in. <laughs> Let's start with a bang. Oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this. We have a platypus and a herpapeco dominus rex. 
We'll get that one for the most scientific. <laughs> I don't know. Could you have a conversation? Well, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, platypus that platypus is misspelled. Kamehameha! Damn. Oh, oh shit. Dominus! <laughs> 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 Man, my heart of heart knows that that just runs like a little RNG shit. Then just, <laughs> the, yeah. the, there's no feedback. Servals for the win, baby. What the? Fuck Aren't they a type of fox? It's it's like a it's, it's a, a not type fox. Of cat. Oh, and it's a cat. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a cat that's thing. A yeah. Okay. Yeah. They make coffee. Dominating win. It's a coffee cat. Well, I predicted that would win because it was the weirdest one. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Babu! Watch he out, he's crepuscular! What was Babu named? Uh, who's uh, Dalla he's, Salvador? He's um, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, this one's uh, spelled correctly. That one's spelled correctly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got it wrong. It's <laughs> Someone spelled platypus correctly? Okay. And <laughs> they were rewarded be... greatly for it. <laughs> also, mine was supposed to be George the Animal Steel, but I, I had a brain fart and went with Wallace for whatever reason. <laughs> George! Oh, George Wallace! I don't think there's enough OG wrestling fans in here for that nope. to land. No. No. <laughs> Carl! Carl! <laughs> oh, God, they said no pendering, but... That's, that's, that's not pandering. Yeah. <laughs> that's an animal, right? Like it's delicious. You must finish your work, Carl. Before I suppose Whitey's gotta pay. I wonder if there's any place in North America where you can order llama. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of Canada. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, Scott. You were okay. our only hope. <laughs> <laughs> Not talking about who'd win the prediction. Come on, Foxy. Time's running out. Mr. Mfo. He wandered off. <laughs> Clearly. Time to step away from the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. This is a big one. Not really. <laughs> Dominus. <laughs> Dominus Spiritu Dominus. Aw, oh, come on. Yep. You people are no fun. <laughs> Sticklers for the real. Cat butt coffee, man. It's gotta be an animal. <laughs> We're just one match away from our finals. Oh, so we actually have, have animal versus animal. Alright. <laughs> Half man. Half. All right. Mm. Well, half platypus. Half, half platypus llama. is already like half. <laughs> half platypus. Like, gang of other half shit. Hat. Anyway. <laughs> this is spare parts of the mammalian order. Half platypus, <laughs> half echidna. <laughs> you don't want to look at its penis. Trust me. All half water bear. <laughs> I just, I just, it warms my heart knowing that there's a venomous mammal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which didn't win, apparently. <laughs> it was busy. It's got more important shit to tend to than winning. Damn you, Santa Cruz! <laughs> and now we finally decide which animal is probably the coolest conversationalist. See, unlike horses, llamas are not venomous. Here come the votes. Llamas can open up interdimensional portals, though. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Horses can only tell you about steam news. And they eat baby hands. Swans. And you can have a llama corn. That wind's gotta feel good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think it's the first back tearing at one. <laughs> Congrats. Let's take another peek at the scoreboard. Oh shit, I got third place. <laughs> oh hell yes, beating Jordan. Last! <laughs> I'm so bad at brackets. 
on the fucking board, man. I had two really good bracketeering games before, so. Here's your starting category. Name something an insanely rich person probably owns. Careful with this one. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? A Pantera? I know several people with Panteras. Panteras are Italian sports cars for poor people, Mir, if you haven't figured that out. That's why you have one? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what we're dealing with. Best day to give out is party favors. Time to oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. Aww. <laughs> I guess the info is still gone. Running out. <laughs> I might be able to beat him this round. Right. <laughs> Not being last. <laughs> watch me, watch me fail. Watch me fall on my face. I think I'm going to get knocked out of this one. That's time at the prediction table. It's go time. Sex. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> uh, rich, <laughs> rich person has a slightly rich person. Looks like we're heading to overtime on this one. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. I'll give you one click. That's it. <laughs> the tie has been broken. I'm going to lose that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna lose that one. Can you do that thing with your tongue? It can, <laughs> and it will. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Next up. Only one can come out on top. Huh? I mean... It's gotta be hard to really? get a pool, so... It's the best thing to give out as a party favor. That kind of domination is illegal in That'd some That'd be a bullshit states. gift, somebody's like, here, you even have a heated <laughs> underground pool, but where do I put it? Yeah, no I, problem. I, yeah, I have an apartment, where do, where do I put <laughs> this? Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. It looks like we have one Gotta go with an airport on that, because... <laughs> as a corporation, um... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any closer than that. Yeah, you, it depends on the size, I guess, of the corporation. I'm just saying, dude, that's no, $300 no, you, like, a piece of paper, man. You're like, yeah, right, you just hand out like tax <laughs> IDs, like, right. here, you're a corporation yeah. now. It's Here's a corporation I, for you. With this vicious <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, truck doors. That. I don't <laughs> know, man. I, I, want, I want to see some, like, party favors eat some people. I want some trap doors, but, man, they, they would be clean. very good because I would have, like, Yellow tape all around this <laughs> trap door here. Do not. <laughs> We're changing that bracket title again. Most bitterly ironic thing to still have after you've lost everything else. Get those oh. predictions in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yes, I, I know it. I there's... know what this one's gonna be. There's no option for hope. <laughs> no, so no one put it in. Irony. Okay. Mm. No, yes. no one put it in. So. <laughs> I'm hoping you're talking about hope, not sex trap. <laughs> I'm talking about the diamond. I mean, if you're hoping for a sex draft, Time's maybe. Time's up at the prediction table. <laughs> Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Oh, please. <laughs> Potential winner starts to emerge. Like falling off a log. Where does that even originate from? Like when <laughs> log, log drivers. Yeah. 
Cause they go burning down and down my water. Scott gets that one, and only Scott gets one. Harsh words at the press conference. I guess the automated answer wins that one. Yeah, I don't, man. Preheat the oven to I have no home, I just have all these trapdoors. Preheat the oven to trapdoors. <laughs> There's cash if you predicted this one. One more change. Mm. Right. Best item to plate in gold and wear on a chain around your neck. Oh, your obviously. <laughs> obviously. And now the final face off. <laughs> uh, that's not even Either a good thing. Either it's that I guess. Oh, no, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> a clear favorite. Yeah, the, that's. Yeah. Like, what? what how, is that, that's not even a choice. Not really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Kudos, Jordan, you won. Yes. I mean, what? I mean, I'm like 100% a rich person owns a sex giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that shot me into second. Oh, oh man, one. I was second to last. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. I, I rode to second place on the back of that sex giraffe. And I'm pretty sure I was only second to last because Foxy went away. <laughs> uh, fun times. And you knocked my uh, slightly retro person out too with that. It's a slightly smaller retro person. I did. Yeah. I did like that one, but like sex giraffe was just too good. Sex giraffe is always going to win in this house. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and I'm like, that's my round one pick, really? Okay. I'm gonna yeah, lose so actually voting against myself. Yeah, so, so sometimes you're just like, nope, that's that's just a better one. It's better yeah. than what I came up with. Hundred percent hundred percent on that. Yup. It went on to win, so I was beaten by the best. You're welcome. <laughs> Although, never mind. No. You you did you did come in first. Mm. I, I I was in last, and then I shot the second. Sometimes that happens, though, right? Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. I do need to pee. Go. Give me like ten seconds. A minute. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. You have a bottle there. Oh, don't get my ideas. <laughs> Is he sober enough to accurately pee in a bottle? Fuck no. Let's find out. Hold on, we gotta we got cut over to Pornhub streaming for a second. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. Huh. They, do, they, they do live streams. T-I-L. Mm, there we go. Yeah, Porn Pornhub stack is pretty solid. I mean, they're also doing gangbusters now, probably. The um, Yay. internet's held up. And by gangbusters, you mean well? That's not a euphemism for something, is it? No, no, we're talking about network traffic, you perv. Oh, okay. Hello, not a duck. Oh, look, it's a duck. Are you yeah. sure? I mean, only a duck would deny their duckhood. I don't know, man. What if it's a uh, knight a duck? Then they're bad at spelling. <laughs> There's a duck, not a duck. <laughs> it's a that's, mallard. That, 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 that's the talk of someone See, that who either has a corkscrew penis a duck, or a vagina maze. Right? That's a goose. Geese? A gander? Goose. Yeah, goose the geese the gander. It's not a space duck, Nemo. It's a majestic, non-sexual duck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that like a sober Irishman? Or a sober Pedro? 
the bastion of sobriety speaks. <laughs> Fair. I'll take that one. Uh, quack, quack, bitches. Look at Mr. Straight Edge over here. Mm. I mean, I'm all hyped up on caffeine. Do straight edge people not drink coffee? They shouldn't. They'd be hypocrites. But when was that? Was that stop anyone? Tuesday. Which Tuesday? Last one. It was after 4 uh, p.m. Uh, nah. It's weird. They didn't see it coming either. But look, here we are. I am still actively waiting for B and H to be like, get fucked. <laughs> you didn't get it. Wow, I haven't bought something from B&H in years. I used to buy um, Kraut Rock and Progressive Rock cassette tapes from them in the 80s. They were a good source for that back then. <laughs> oh, I never reprogrammed the MIDI CC on those. I need to do that. Huh. Yeah, B&H has expanded quite, quite beyond selling. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I looked at their site recently. They have lots of used equipment and factory refurbished. Brand spanking new. Yeah. <laughs> and they have New York sales tax. That's fun. <laughs> We've lost Jordan. Nah, give me that. <laughs> They also get uh, quite a bit of like computer hardware and like monitors and stuff like that these days as well. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Like, for that, really. like, yeah, like they launch with it. Like you see them as a launch partner for a lot of these companies. Oh yeah, yes. B&H is massive. It's like, huge. After I get done with Amazon, that's like stop number two if I'm looking for something. Yeah. Except for maybe drones. They probably carry drones though. <laughs> What does B&H stand for? Uh, always that, like, that place. It's always been that other place. I'd, I've never heard of this. Yeah. I oh, guess they're, they're not in they Canada. Have, yeah, they have a, a huge retail presence in New York. I, I saw a behind-the-scenes documentary on it before, and I think it's named after two brothers. If I'm Funny like, enough, I yeah. haven't had alcohol March 1. What are you trying to tell me, Nemo? Uh, Blimmy and Herman. Yeah. Bl Blimmy? Blimmy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I-M-I-E. Blimey. Blimey? Blimmy? Blimmy. <laughs> no, I, I like it. No, it's like Lemmy, but Blimmy. <laughs> Some call me Blem for short. B. What's up, B? Oh, wait a minute. No, my Asus EPC, my first one was from B&H. I remember my 701. I got it from B&H. Cool. <laughs> All right. Wait, the room code's out? What was the room code again? <laughs> it was in some... Uh... I posted it in Discord. Oh, yeah. yeah. You lovely observant. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I dare. Race. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, no, Payne's wife oh! uh, image scrolled off screen for me, I guess. Do, do, do. Um, am I in? Do. I'm in. All right, that's good. Boop. The buggy. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the best liar? Fibbage. Lie for me, the baby. I'm Cookie Masterson. I guess this has been like Fibbage one and two at some point. Smiley face button yeah. on your email receipt. Six players. That's a lot I'm of a people peach. to embarrass yourself in front of. What am I? Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, you can get in the Me audience either. at any time. Audience members <laughs> try to spot mm -hmm. the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Let's hit it. <laughs> you're you're right, right Chris. It does sound like Steven Universe. One of my favorite. This is round one, which means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. 
All right, choose a category. Let's Shoot. do this. Big in Texas. Oh, well. First up, Texan hmm. Jimmy Lukey is unique in that you can see his blank oh. from space. Now, on your device, type out a good lie that you think other players might believe is true. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it now. All right. All right. All right. I, I, I'm going to play this one. <laughs> you can see his massive okay, protracted colon from space. On your device now. Hmm. Oh, that's a pretty decent one. I will give that one a bonus point. Mm. Let's see what everybody selected. Nah, too easy. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> American flavor. Ranch. Nope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, Alan. Hmm. <laughs> He wrote it on his ranch using about three miles of trees. Oh, okay. oh so it is his ranch. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wrote it on his ranch over a swimming pool with his fence. God damn it. But he wrote it with his Doritos. Right. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Tortoises. Bad. Oh, I thought that said bad girls. Bad tortoises in movies. <laughs> yeah. okay. Villain gimmicks. Okay. Okay, here's your question. There's a Marvel Comics villain who wears clothes from the 1900s and rides a flying tandem bicycle with a similarly dressed female mannequin. His name, of course, is blank. All right, type in your lies. Fuck, I should know this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. This is easy. Oh, damn it. I thought of a better one. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. I'm sad no one picked the cycle path. Aww. <laughs> All right, pick the truth. <laughs> the missing <laughs> It should just be like Gary. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have? Uh, I on. spelled cyclist wrong, damn it. <laughs> I, I didn't catch that. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I would have let that pass. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> it was one of the ones that seemed okay. Uh, there hey. Is. Yeah, that one was too <laughs> yeah. stupid to be faked by any of you guys. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll yeah. take it. Yay. Not last place. <laughs> last place. God. <laughs> Still not last place. I'll take it. Naughty tortoises. Where? Bar. Try this one. Following the popularity of Wendy's Where's the Beef campaign, Burger King launched a competing campaign called Where's Blank. Type in your lies now. Mm. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. Where is the beef? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> the beef burglar. <laughs> like we don't, we I'm don't know. It's not enough as it is. I don't need it's this. Not, <laughs> it's not in our burgers. Okay, find the truth. Yar burgers made by real pirates. I think I remember this one actually. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Waldo. Let's see how things shook out. 
Where's the lunge? Ah, damn it! <laughs> I thought that was an actual thing. <laughs> Not last! Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and you all missed it. What? Herb was this guy who would never try to work Oh, God damn it, Burger King, you oh, suck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go fuck yourself, Gabe. Seriously. <laughs> all right, back to last. I'm too all honest, right. you guys. <laughs> hey, look, it's round two. Strap in because all the points are double. How about some Russian fibbage? Yeah. Da 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 <laughs> Apparently, I was too close to the truth. Oh no, I wasn't. <laughs> Nowhere near it. <laughs> Not in the same stratosphere. I hate when that happens. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> well, there's not a blank. Okay, seek the truth. I gotta go with potato. Borsh. Rudder up. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Boomerang. Traditional <laughs> Russian boomerang. Oh, yeah. Those, those, those crazy Russians and their boomerangs. Dude. Yeah. 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 I, put in potato, I put in potato, it's like, that's too close to the truth. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> that was the truth, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was sure a bottle of vodka would get someone... <laughs> I just Back said bottle. bottle. <laughs> just bottle. <laughs> Select the category. Avengers? Tortoises. Yes. This is old George. He's 200 years old. In 2011, British researcher Dr. Anna Wilkinson spent six months teaching a tortoise to Keep life. blank. <laughs> and here lies now. All right. Let's even get some points. But man, it would be great if you had an attack tortoise. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Yeah. Dude, th those fuckers are mean. I'll bite you, and it hurts. Find the truth. <laughs> Mate. It's like short diagrams. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, there's like one that's almost as viable as the other one, but I don't know. Right? Yeah. Sure. It's it's either it's one one or the other. And what did people pick? No. <laughs> no. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Not us, <Squirrel> Jordan. <laughs> smoke. Smoke. Why you wanna get high with the like turtle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Old George. Oh uh, shit. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. I like that one, Pedro. Would you believe it was yawn? Huh. <laughs> Apparently not, game. Apparently how do you teach someone how to yawn? You tickle their feet. Why would you? I don't know, but she spent six months doing it. <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby, man. <laughs> I thought Ad was just absurd enough here. that it might it might grab some. Hope Inc. Fine. Super cameras. I thought so Alan would got. pick that one. It might seem impossible, but researchers at MIT and Georgia Tech have developed a special terahertz camera that can actually blank. Write your lies mm. now. Mm.
That's way too clever. An answer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't- I don't know. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> it can actually suck the soul out of your body. Right. The truth. Yeah, this is what you needed to smell a camera. Capture photons? It'd be a pretty shit camera if it had photon blockers on it, huh? That's what we need to sell, man. Photon blocking cream. Liquid aluminium. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Put it on your head. Capture photons? Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, like cap capture individual photons, right? Like. Oh, I get it. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yes. <laughs> nope. Nope. Learn. I thought there actually Learn. was a camera that was able to go and see uh, light packets. Bing. Ah. I prefer a closed audio book. But, like, wouldn't it just see all the text at once? <laughs> it didn't say I could read them well. Uh-oh. It's final fibbage time. Pay uh. attention, because this last one's worth triple points. It's a doozy. If you find yourself out on Harrington Lake in Kentucky, beware of the rumored local... Oh, God. ...half blank, half blank. <laughs> Okay, enter your lies. Oh. Hmm. Let's see where this lands me. All right. Find the truth. Minimal deal on that one, did you? Huh. Oh, jeez, <laughs> oh, man. Somebody might just get me good. On the lake, though. Half fox, okay, half dog. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> it was just as valid as any of the other I ones. Ah! <laughs> Wrong! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Nope. Damn it. That's a big one. <laughs> ben did a good one. Is it, is, it's the eel wow. pig. <laughs> eel <Wow>. pig. <laughs> I, I, was, I was hoping someone would take the bite on chicken. You could really make some, like, nope barbecue with one of those, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Not last! Like half <laughs> colonel, half chicken. Okay. All Sanders. Seven. Sort of it's a combination. Last, but God it's damn. a horrible combination of all seven secret herbs and spices. And three deadly sins. Alright, I'll, I'll I'll take third. Dude, we made it. <laughs> uh, only full people were second, two Jordan. Believe six no. lies. Uh, oh, I was second. Oh, damn. Only got three likes. Damn, Scott. <laughs> Lunch. Oh. Lunch. Right, yeah, we all we all guessed that one. Burning I am the world's running. best grandpa. <laughs> Mr. Alert. More ten likes. Worst liar. <laughs> Chill. Most <laughs> Damn, Scott, you got a spray and pray, man. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> hey man, points are points though, right? That's what I'm saying. Points, points are points. <laughs> and I had some of them. So I, I was the first loser twice. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, beautiful people. I landed third, fourth, and fifth. So. Yeah. <laughs> and you told me you didn't know how to count. Busted. <laughs> I was promised there would be no maps. Damn it! <laughs> I'm excited. I got I got pork chop sandwiches after this. Oh shit! <laughs> Boneless. Damn you! <laughs> yep. Boneless pork chop sandwich. I want to come over. 
<laughs> there's there's only enough pork chop for Jordan. None, mm. none, none, none for Jill. <laughs> It'd be like a pork chop sandwich and somebody missing some fingers sandwich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the nightmare train must once pull back into the station. I want to thank each and every one of you who did show up and said hi. Maybe waved at us, told us to go die in a fire as well. That's kind of brilliant. We want to thank you for that. Everybody hanging out in the after show. We got Jill, Mir, Mr. Alert, Pennywise, Rohit, Scott. You know him, you love him. We do have a brilliant Jordan's thing. Beautiful co host. I'm, I'm, I'm mildly intelligent. That's, that's soon where to be I half pork chop. And uh, <laughs> yes. Staying up early. Yeah, Past his wake up time. <laughs> Pedro Mateus. Pretty much, yeah. Half man, half cage. <laughs> we call him we call him Clippy for this episode because of his Wi Fi's. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm Vince Stone. Pedro, what are you gonna be back with Tuesday? More Dark Souls? More Dark Souls. All yeah. Right. Made Sounds it like through uh, Blight Town, so now there's more. <laughs> choo choo, motherfuckers. It's 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 the Raven home of Dark Souls three. <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs> Raven home of Dark Souls. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Half Life Two of Dark Souls. You see, you see how I flipped it. It's, it's funny, <laughs> dude. Do the entire stream where the only thing you say is moo. <laughs> there is no cow level. Just moo. <laughs> moo.